It's the Sports Cast with your host, the sports guru and Bud Knocker. Call the show at 818 435 8423 and follow the show on Twitter at sportscast underscore THN. And now it's the Sports Cast. Welcome back to the Sports Cast NFL Game Day Show. Well, I think it's only our, what, we have two more left? I think two so. Two more game day shows left? Unfortunately, yes. My God, it's come to that time, people. Football season has ended. It's coming huge, fast. Huge national championship <laughs> game, though, just a couple nights ago. Yes. I uh, got a couple controversial calls once again in the NFL playoffs. No, only controversy because the refs are fucking idiots. And they are fucking, seriously, we thought the replacement refs were bad. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Back here, though, in the Icebox Studios, uh, once again with the fellas. Uh, we've got Bud Knocker and uh, Renan, the ones and twos, in yeah. Icebox in his king's chair. What's up, homies? What's up, homies? Oh, there he is. What's up, homies? I um, want to thank everyone for checking in. Johnny, got anything to say over there real quick? You want to check in? Yeah, I'm here. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, in-depth yeah, really. in commentary. Depth. You me. are Johnny. one pathetic oh loser. God. Uh, back here, Icebox Studios. You guys can call the show today, 818-435-8423. Uh, if I do sound nasally, it is because I'm suffering from a cold. And thank you um, very much for everyone on Facebook. I can feel the love from all the sportscast fans because I don't really get sick. It's probably the first time I've been sick in over a year. And I get sick like once a year. And I put on sports. I put on on my Facebook for those that are friends with me. But I, oh, I'm sick. Da, 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 da. Uh, you know, I'm not going to complain about, it, but I will. Huh, huh. So people put back. Stop being a pussy, man. <laughs> like, dude, like, no one cares. Like, no one cares. No. And then of course, my all. wife gets on. There's like, yeah, guys, you tell him. You tell him stop being a pussy. Big sissy. Seriously, God. <laughs> Have a nice day, douchebag! Dude, like, come on, guys. Just next time you say, call your mommy. Yeah, back me up. Just call your mommy. Seriously, I'll call mommy. Mommy, make me some chicken noodle soup. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to tweet the show today, sportscast underscore THN is where you guys can tweet the show. we got a lot going on today, a lot of topics. got a new segment coming up uh, that Knocker doesn't even know about, but it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, we got our Shot of the Week award. Uh, I am bringing back Wild World of Sports today, Knocker, for a special subject. So we'll bring back Wild World of Sports. Uh, we got some NBA stuff, Cavs and, Le- Cavs and LeBron. <sighs> Pushing his coach last night, Knocker. This what? situation is getting pretty intense here in Cleveland. Yeah, we'll he talk about that. Coach? Yeah, well, pushed, shoved him in a way to where his coach was getting all heated, wanted to make sure he didn't get a technical foul. That's what he says. Now, there's already been confrontation between him and the coach already. Um, and, yeah, you can check out the video at thenewsportsgroup.com, Knocker. Well, wow. During break, we'll, we'll talk about it after the break, so check it out in the break. You can see what he did. I will uh, so do we'll talk so. about that. Wow. Kevin Garnett, Dwight Howard getting into it. Garnett. So we'll talk about that. Uh, an idiot. Your boy, we got some NASCAR news. The Bush is in news yeah. today. You love when the Bush is in the news. I always love it when you we talk about Bush. You always love it when we talk about the Bush. We never talk about Bush enough. Get from Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than Bush talk. Brothers, man, you know, if they're not crazy, they're fucking ex girlfriends, are so we'll talk about that. Uh, coming up in a little bit of NASCAR news bitch. with Knocker. Yeah, what play it again? She's a bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that, Renee. Bring in the stuff, I like it. Like, nice. Our bonehead of the week, um, will come from Peppy Pants of Chicago Bears. Uh, Knocker now, <laughs> parent teacher conferences really hard fun to go to, but <laughs> no. He decided he needed to be a little boozed up before one of the Chicago players went to his parent teacher conference. So yep. we've got our bonehead of the week coming up later. Uh, also, you came out. We got our over unders. Yes. From uh, earlier our this year. Our predictions. Our predictions. So year. prognostications, yes. if you will. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna go <laughs> with you on it. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to go to our over-under, see how we did on the season. Uh, also coming up, we're going to get a lot of coaches changes uh, in rapid fire uh, with our NFL headlines. A lot going on uh, in the NFL. Raiders have found a coach. Buffalo's got their new coach. And some guy we've never heard of is now coaching Jets, the San Francisco the uh, 49ers. Some guy mm-hmm. never heard of. But he looks like a Stan Van Gundy and Ron Jeremy mixed together. <laughs> so does, does. <laughs> I, just, I just saw his picture. That yeah, is did spot you? on. Oh, that was going to be my <laughs> ching ching. That, that was going to be my, my drop on it. You know, I had it. spot on right Come on. There. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, you guys! <laughs> Have you seen like the that. picture of him, Johnny? Have you seen the picture of this guy? I have not, no. Um, go, I, I just go, saw go like to our two site, look ago. on the homepage. He's, he's between <laughs> Stan Van Gundy. <laughs> That's just, well, I don't know Johnny knows who Stan Van Gundy is. Oh, okay, he's a basketball coach, and uh, you uh, you know who Ron Jeremy is. You're a porn freak, so Absolutely. you know who John Ron Jeremy is. So just look at this guy and tell me if he looks like it. So we'll talk about that and more, and of course, the catch Heard round the world, as we'll talk about Knocker. And you're actually 
surprisingly on my side on this. I'm not on your side. I'm on the side of what's freaking right. And I'm well, that's my side. I'm I'm tired <laughs> of this Peralta dude because he's gotten like three calls yeah. wrong, in my opinion. Yep. In the last in the last three games, you know I, they're paying this guy yeah, to be playoffs, the expert man. guy. Playoffs? Yeah. You kidding me? Playoffs? These are the playoffs. I mean, you got. And I just don't get it because there's a booth now. You get to go into it on an HD TV and look at it from 12 million different angles, and you still can't figure it out. It's it's just wrong. It was supposed to write the game, and in ninety percent of the cases, it does. But this is just wrong. Yeah, it, it's just wrong. Yep, I agree. So we'll get to that more again. You want to call the show eight one eight four three five eight four two three. Over the weekend, guys, anything great go on? Um, I had a couple things going on, so I'll get to those in a little bit. But Knocker, anything special going on this weekend? Where you were kind of party this week? I didn't see you. Well, I saw you like, on Sunday. Yeah, I worked Saturday, and then uh, um, went to my brother's house to enjoy some. Uh, you know, company in the, and and I the game appreciate on your non help that while me and Johnny, you were painting the new studio, you and Johnny sanding, were it out. painting, edging this thing. Didn't I mean, even ask the Mexican if he wanted to work. Yeah, really. Either. Seriously, <laughs> me and Johnny were too These two too knucklehead busy white we were like, I think halfway Josh's through, Mexican came halfway out. through, Johnny's like, Josh, like we're tired. Don't we're we gonna, have a Mexican yeah, that works like, for us. We're like four <laughs> hours in, right? We did the sanding, we're like halfway rolling the walls. We're like, man, this is just too. This is getting a bitch. It's gonna take a little longer than we thought. He's like, dude, you know what I should have done? I should we should call fucking. He's kind of good at this, man. He's kind of good at this kind of stuff. He enjoys it. Like, oh, thanks, dude. I didn't say yes, it. Yes, like you that. did. You told the story completely wrong. What are you talking about? I said, what's Renee doing? Isn't he supposed to be good at this kind of stuff? <laughs> yes. That's still suggesting it four hours and after we were in my blood. Yeah, job. but my suggestion was a little bit more racist than yours what was. What an idiot. Yeah. I was inferring that he's Mexican. Tell him to grab See? his pay- spray paint cans oh. and get his ass over here. Right. <laughs> Such an ass. That's why Josh only did part of the job. What do you yeah, t- well. Part Mexican. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, over the weekend. <laughs> but, uh, over the weekend, me and Johnny, we uh, got down to the new studio. As we announced last week, uh, me and Knocker, we're going to be having a new studio. Uh, right in Knocker's backyard there. We're going to go mm-hmm. old Frank Kramer style, man. We're going to be doing this legit. Uh, we and uh, Johnny spent about six, eight hours sanding down the inside, repainting everything. Did a wonderful job. Uh, hey. Wendy was happy, and that's Wendy's hard happy, to do. And that's almost impossible. That is hard to, do. to please that woman, and we did, and we did a great job. So we're glad we got that taken care of. And um, other than that, I saw a movie you talked about last week that was absolutely unbelievable. I saw Unbroken. Oh, you did? I did. I took did Jack you really? Up. She made me go see Into the Woods. I was like, "Bitch, You're you are going, going to see here. a movie with me tonight." <laughs> and and I loved it. She cried. It was awesome. fantastic. Kept me in tune. It was a little long, a little longer than I thought it would be. It's like two hours, you know, twenty minutes, something like that. But it was absolutely fantastic. I was I was captivated by the whole movie. That guy and it's a that true guy makes me look like an story. absolute yeah. pussy. I saw it too. Yeah. It was amazing. It was, it was amazing. Awesome. It was unbelievable. A great, 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 what, the, great movie. what he had to do. Yeah, I know the movies may probably made a little maybe worse than it was. Right. But unbelievable acting. The Asian dude that played, you know, the guy at the camp, awesome actor. I don't know where he came from. But he that didn't guy, want to do he it. He made me want to hit him so bad, that act, that Asian guy in the camp. You know, the leader there, that kept on beating him with the stick. There's a documentary out guy. there. There's a... Thank you. He wasn't Mr. Miyagi, that's for sure. Um, there's a documentary... Um, done about Angelina Jolie and her relationship with Louis Zamperini. Yeah, I've seen it. yeah. And, and the actor who portrayed the guy that you're talking yeah, about. Awesome. He's a very big actor, well liked actor in Japan. Oh, he is did, he? He did not want to do this. He did not want to do it. He said no like six times um, before accepting the role because he man. said, nobody's going to like me. Yeah. I'm going to be hated after I re- portraying I l- I this guy in the movie. I hated him. Yeah. Like, I would have taken a shit on that guy's face. Mm-hmm. My girlfriend's I like, done that. My girlfriend's like, he's a bad man without a mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that from Hook? Yeah, Hook? That's that's from Hook. You need a mommy. Yeah. <laughs> See, we got to get a movie show but on. You, we got to have a movie podcast. But you liked it also because I read the book. I haven't seen the movie yet. I read the book. And and um, the book is just you know unbelievably yeah. great movie. Though. I went if you through haven't that book seen like it, go and see it. I wanted, awesome. to see, I wanted to see American Sniper, but obviously it wasn't out until this week, and I believe it comes out. Can't I wait have to it. see that. You have a bootleg copy of it. I have it. Well, I'm Johnny, to watch Johnny it this showed week. me how to. Oh no, he didn't show he me. Didn't anything show you anything about how to get <laughs> free movies. Yeah, yeah. What, are you, what are you even talking about? <laughs> I don't know anything about any of that stuff. What are you talking? No. Sorry, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, I want to know what you're not doing. Really, Don't worry, we won't, ta- happening? we won't talk about it. We won't it. talk about it. All right, so, um, Renee, did you do anything good over the weekend? Well, I watched Unbroken. That was an awesome movie. Okay. Um, but, I mean, that's pretty much it. Party You're still not friends. married and she's not pregnant, yep. though, right? Yep. Okay, still so not. good to go. For I will let week. you guys know. Oh, you'll let me know when that happens. Okay, I'll have to check in with you every week. 
All right. <laughs> All right, Knocker, again, you can check the Twitter line, sportscast underscore THN. Uh, again, we've got a lot going on, so let's uh, rapid fire through the headlines of the news of the day in the NFL. Big news, a lot of coaching changes, as we talked about last week. We've got some new ones. Uh, we'll talk about them right now. Here we go, rapid fire. <laughs> Coaching carousel in the NFL continues. Wow. It continues. Is, it is moving fast. And the one job that I actually thought was going to get taken the quickest or get get filled was Atlanta. It's sitting there. Yeah, there's really you not a whole lot of uh, uh, news or anything. The no, Jets and the Bills finding coaches. The Raiders today. The Raiders. I mean, can we talk about the Niners signing a nobody? And still. The Atlanta Falcons sit without a coach, and they sit there with Roddy White, Julio Jones, and Matt Ryan. Yeah, a little, little interesting as to what, you know, what's taking so long, or you know, maybe that what I think is happening now that you bring it up. Mm-hmm. I've, really, I've been really busy at work, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to dive into all these. Don't lie, um, I've been subjects. golfing and banging my mom. No, actually, I've been doing neither. <laughs> oh wow. Is, you know why I'm a little irritated <laughs> right now. I'm in a little. Back <laughs> yeah, she ain't backing nothing up yeah, right that's now. A, that's a bummer, knocker. Sorry. Yeah, for that. you know it is. Um, <laughs> but I think I think what's going on. I think they're trying to catch somebody on on a staff that was you know in the playoffs either last week and or still in the playoffs. Right. And nothing can happen. I mean, they can't sign them. They can't do and they can't interview them. They can't do anything while they're while they're participating in the playoffs. So. You know, maybe they're holding out for somebody on the on the Seattle staff, yeah, or or somebody on the New England staff. Or the it's going to be interesting. Uh, you I mean, know. you can't hold out too long. You need to start getting these things, you know, going. I well, think it's you're not like college. Quick. It's not like college because you don't have to recruit. You know, there's no recruiting it's a new involved. System. It's a new system. I mean, Matt Ryan's got to learn a whole new. Depending on who comes in there. No, I understand it, but the system, They're not going to have you know off season workouts in the next two weeks. I mean, That's they've true. got two months to two months to sign somebody. It's just. Fun. It's just. I, th- I thought that job would get filled the quickest and, and still sitting out there. You would have so, thought. Yeah. You so know, it seems like a good. Well, job. let's get into the uh, the uh, coaching carousel around the NFL. Here we go. Uh, a lot going on. Again, we just talked about. You guys want to call the show eight one eight four three five eight four two three is the number. Um, We'll talk about the catch real quick. Before we get to the coaching carousel, the catch. Heard around the world over the weekend. Uh, I don't want to go too far into it because it's kind of been already right. exacerbated. Out. Yeah, it's been just hashed out so much. But again, throw the play up here if you can, Renee. Again, you guys can watch us live on Ustream. Always, we stream live 6 to 8 p.m. on Wednesdays uh, at Icebox Studios as Johnny just hit himself with the mic in the face. <laughs> uh, you can check out the catch here. I'm sure everyone's already seen already. Des Bryant going into the end zone again. This is on a fourth and two call. Bold call by the Cowboys. Uh, down in this game. Knocker was ruled a catch, then not a catch after the review. Uh, the Calvin Johnson, per se, rule came in. I just think this is just, obviously I'm a Cowboys fan, I'm hurt by the call, but at the same time, they're penalizing Calvin Johnson and now Des Bryant for being too athletic and trying to make a play after the catch. Well, I don't think, uh, it, okay, in my opinion, I'm going to differ with you on this. I don't think this is anything like the Calvin Johnson catch. Calvin Johnson went up for that ball and was not touched, was not defended on, was not hit in any way, shape, or form. He went up, came down, hit the ground, the ball popped, he came up without the ball. I can understand the application of the rule in that case. Okay. Here's my problem. Go ahead. The rule should never been applied in this case. It doesn't apply. And the reason it doesn't apply is he caught the ball. He goes up and he's got control of the yes. ball in the air. Okay. He took his knee hit the ground okay. for crying let out let loud. Let me finish. His left foot hits the ground. Throw up again, Ray, while he's talking. His left foot hits the ground. There's a great illustration, Jason. Right there, that's a good view. Jay Markey sent in a great illustration at uh, the new sports guru or at Sportscast on, 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 on Twitter. Twitter. Okay. Okay, it's a great breakdown in six pictures. He catches the ball. He has control of the ball. No question about that. Ball's in his right arm. His left foot hits the ground. His right foot hits the ground. That's two feet inbounds. He takes a third step with his left foot. He still has control of the ball. The ball now switches to his left hand. As he's going down, he stretches for the goal line. Football move. While he's stretching, when his knees hit the ground, his right leg and the leg of the defender are in contact. At that point, the play's over because he's down by contact. When he's down by contact, the ground cannot cause a fumble. 
The play's over. It's a catch. There is no question about it. There's no rule application because it's a freaking catch. Yeah, I agree with you. I, 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 that's what I'm saying. And if you've anything, got all these high-priced announcers. Nobody ever brought that up. Why? If anything, why am I watching this in my living room wondering why nobody's talking about that? I don't understand They're how so he, quick to go to the rule. It's not a touchdown, but he's down on the one at least. Yes, absolutely. He not recovered his own fumble. Not, not even that, because he can't. It's not a fumble. Okay, exactly. Because yes, I agree. The he's ground down, can't down. cause a fumble. But all these high-priced guys and this head of so official still, gurus, no, I shouldn't even talk about and it. these guys, not one of them mentions the fact that he had control of the ball, took two steps, switched the ball from his right arm to his left arm, made a football move, yeah, reached it to the Markey goal line. Yeah, the perfect picture it's on the our Twitter. It's the perfect, absolute Thank picture you, right Jay there. Thank you, Jay Thank you. It's so what do you mean not agree? Look at the picture, bro. How can you not agree, Johnny? How can you the not catch, agree? The step. Okay. Yes, it's one step. That's a catch. That left foot. He's in the air when he he's catches got the, the ball. ball. He's got the he ball. He comes there. down left foot. He's then comes hard. down right foot. Don't be a hater. Okay, Johnny, separate yourself from hating Dallas. Yeah, if this was fucking Heinz yes. Ward, yeah. it'd be a catch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is just exactly. This, I don't, this I don't understand how they make this much money. Johnny, you're one, two. He his is knee down. Hits the ground. He's when his down knee hits at the, the ground. One. When his He's knee hits the, the ground, one. his leg and the Packer guy's leg are touching. That's down by contact. And you know what? And, Play and, over. And people believe Knocker, Appa Knocker on Twitter because he hates the Cowboys more but than anybody. He's definitely, he he's definitely not, not, to lose. He's not stretching for the touchdown. Whether sure he, he, that was one of the points he made as a football move, but he's definitely not stretching. It Dude, just happens to be the way he's he is. Actually, right. it looks like he's more pulling it well, in. Let, let's move on. I, I, no, Johnny, Johnny, look at third step. Oh, yeah, okay, let's listen to what you guys No, look at here. Look, come here. <laughs> Please come here. <laughs> Can I punch him? I've wanted to punch him just, before just the show. Look Can here. I punch him on See, the show? Yeah, I don't want to be with you. Just the ball right here is tucked under. Oh. And right here, he goes out to the goal line. <laughs> Seriously. It was a catch. Yeah, really. Unbelievable, and something's got to be done. That rule has got to be changed. This is for you. You got nothing. Later to you. you got, got it? Got it. Anyways. They got hosed. They got hosed. Told what do you think about you the play like call? Girl. Yo, mama. What do I think about the play call? Big balls. I love it. Love it too. I freaking love it. Go for it. I like Fuck it. it. Well, anyways, Roger so obviously hindered by the calf. He Big could, balls. He, he wouldn't get out of the pocket. He was too afraid to move. He had so much time to well, run. Here, you know, we're going to discuss this. Let's discuss this. Why are the Cowboys rushing three guys on crucial plays? I don't know. Why are they not blitzing up the middle to make so Aaron Rodgers move him. sideways? They, ne they they didn't do that in the second half. I agree. They never brought pressure up the front, and they went to that three-man pass rush, which I don't know who the asshole is who invented this, but it never, ever effing works. Yeah. If you don't pressure a quarterback and give him all day, I don't care who it is. Okay. I don't care where he's playing. He will chew you up. Well, so now you're going to give one of the top three quarterbacks in the game who's got one leg and not make a move? You're not going to make a move? You're going to let him stand back there? Unbelievable. Unbelievably stupid. stupid Unbelievably stupid. Son of a bitch, dumb bastard. Absolutely. <laughs> Just explained it in what four words. Play that one more time. That would be fantastic. Seriously, Josh, I didn't understand that. <laughs> and you watch, you watch what Seattle does this week. They're gonna blitz two and three players. Now they do have better cornerbacks and He's... safeties than Dallas, so they will be able to get yeah. away with oh, it. They are gonna the rush the week. shit out yeah. of him and make him move side to side. Because with that calf, he's not gonna be able to do it. Yeah. He can't move laterally. He can move forward a little bit and throw going forward. You make him run outside the pocket. They should have rushed everybody inside and made him move sideways. I, agree. I don't understand. I agree. These guys but make a great millions. game, though. A oh, great. I think I just broke my head. I think again. he just did again. It's okay. God damn it. <laughs> he smacked his own head and broke his own headphones. Um, we'll talk about the game coming up in That's just right, a little Johnny, bit. The Seattle him. game. But again, I'm good. A great game nonetheless. Whether that call was the call, a, oh, it was great a wonderful game, game. nonetheless. Beautiful game. So, Absolutely outstanding. All right. We'll get to the coaching carousel now. Um, <laughs> as we just talked about. Uh, Jim Tomasola is now your new yes. head coach, 49er fans. And you're like, yes, who? I don't even know who the hell this guy is. But he all, he looks like, I said before, a cross between Stan Van Gundy and Ron Jeremy That's out there awesome. coaching your team. That is so funny. Uh, but if you guys have a little background on him, he is the Niners defensive line coach since 2007. Exactly. Um, according to uh, ES Adam Schefter, 
Um, he's an interim. He was an interim head coach at the end of 2010 uh, after Mike Singletary was fired during right. that season. He led the team to win his final game of the season. He was also head coach of the Rain Fire in NFL Europe. Oh, awesome. Oh, NFL Europe, yeah. So, again, new coach of the Niners. What are your thoughts real quick, man? This is this is a total play by the GM who hates to be told what to do, who doesn't want it to be told he's wrong, an ego move where, okay, I've got my pawn now. He's going to do whatever I want. There'll be no backlash like there was with Harbaugh. This is a total GM sucker move. I hate it by the Niners. I think it's going to backfire. I think Capron is going to continue to digress. And I just think horrible move by San Francisco. Well, what's interesting is they hired this guy and they lost, I believe, Greg Roman was the offensive coordinator and he is now gone. Um, so I think this guy's going to sit down. I think the GM, this the, the new head coach, they're going to sit down with um, Kaepernick and they're going to find out you know, what kind of coordinator they want. What what does he feel comfortable doing? How does he see the offense going? You know, and I think the line coach may have a better relationship with Kaepernick than Harbaugh did. So it, it, it's kind of interesting. I, I I don't mind it so much because it's a smooth transition <laughs> with all the turmoil that was going it's on. A total my in, D's bigger than your D. I'm the GM. I'm going to make you do what no, I want to do. No, that I understand. Getting rid of Harbaugh because of it's that. Yeah. This, you know. Um, and they got but, a lot of talent on that team. I just think it's a wrong move. I think the team's on a downhill slide right now. I don't like it. I think uh, he's out in a year or two. I think it's a Tressman move. Totally a Tressman, just like a Tressman move by the Bears. Well, no, you can't say that because Tressman was a, was, had, had no real ties to the Bears, and he came from I'm the Canadian Football it, League. I, I think this is just something This guy where, comes from the European League. I don't see, think I, it's any different. You I know? think it's, the philosophy here is, and the reason for this is, we don't need to start over. The Niners could go to the Super Bowl next year if they had just the I, right pieces. Again. Listen to me for a second. They hire this guy because they don't want to start over. He's family. He's been there for seven years. He understands what they're trying to do and where they're trying to go. He was there when they had the success, okay, and he watched it fall apart. I think they hired this guy because it's a smooth transition. They don't want to start over. They don't think they have to rebuild. They just had to replace and, and do something to calm everything down, and I think that's what this hire is going to do. So I think in that respect, it's not a bad thing. You bring in a whole new staff, now you're going to learn a system. It's going to take a year and a half. Now you got players that are going to free agent out. Now you got players that are older. Now you got players doing other things. Now you don't have the team you have now. They still have a team good enough to go to a Super Bowl. So that's why they, they just step this guy up and let's just play with what we got because we're good enough. Yep. I think that's the hire. Okay. And in my opinion, not a bad thing. All right. Well, next coaching hire here right across the bay right there. Oakland Raiders uh, signed Jack Del Rio today. Raiders. I believe it's a five-year deal. Uh, Jack Del Rio, as you might remember, coached the Jaguars. Uh, also uh, was at USC as well during the uh, Pete Carroll reign. Was that right? Correct? Was he there Yes, he was working on the Carroll staff. Uh, also was rumored a couple of years ago to actually go over the Mike Coach before Sarkeesian got there. Yes, uh, he, was so in the, he was in the mix. In the talks. Now he was with Denver the last two years. Um, what do you think about the move? I think he goes because he's got the cool leather jacket. They're like, hey, dude, look at this guy. He's got the leather jacket. He's going to totally fit in with this Oakland theme. Totally fits our sidelines. Um, I'm kind of back and forth. I mean, I love it because he's a, he's a Trojan. Um, he had success in Jacksonville where not many people have. He got them to the playoffs down there. Yeah. He's a very good defensive coach. The Raiders, need help. The Raiders need help on defense. Um, he gives them a little stability. It's not a brand new head coach with no head coaching experience, which I think is something that's going to fit in well uh, with the Oakland Raiders. Um, they have a decent nucleus going on. They surprised some people this year. Um, I, I'm, I'm not against it. Let's hope he learns something um, with Jacksonville and with all the places that he been, he's been. And that he makes something happen up there. I I don't mind it. I I think it's a good it's a good deal. All right, we got a call on the line to get you guys to call the show eight one eight four three five eight four two three sportscast caller. Who we got? Scooby Sunday from Newport Beach. Oh, Scooby Sunday! Yeah. Oh, we Scoob. finally talk Raiders, and he yeah, shows up. Talk some Raiders. Ooh. Scooby Sunday. What's up, Scoobs? You guys got some good promotion over there. I'm just on Twitter. I see a link. I hit it. There you are with all these great sponsors, and I hear Knocker talking about. Del Rio, so I thought I'd give you a quick call and say hello. How yeah. do you feel about it, buddy? T Typical Raider move. Let me tell you. <laughs> we, were, 
we went from getting going after Gruden and then going after Harbaugh, and then we bring in these bums like Mangini and Del Rio. Decent name, but bum coach. Nothing's going to change. I'm disappointed. Um, and, and by the way, that was a catch by Des Bryant. He took three freaking steps, and he lunged for the goal line, Johnny, and he, uh, he, and he fumbled. Oh, no. So Thanks. he was down by contact. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you for pointing Scooby. that out. I a man of that. reason right here. Scoop, now, okay, yeah. so who, who did you want? I mean, you, yeah, you said Gruden. You, you you were talking John Gruden? Well, we never really were going after Gruden, you know. But, you know, it's always a name whenever we lose a coach every year. Right. So, you know, we, we gave Gruden, you know, I think he did an interview with us so he can get more money from ESPN or something. I'm not sure. But <laughs> He's not going was anywhere. In the ring for a minute. It was him and it was um, Harbaugh. Uh, Harbaugh, right? But, yeah. I mean, and then we get Del Rio. I mean, come on. <laughs> True. Yeah, you project. get the third. You get the third of the wheel. But who, there. who else is out there? I mean, I mean, if you third, don't. Man, I wanted Rex Ryan. At least, yeah. I don't know. Some, fucking somebody. Okay, now that. Not this guy. That wouldn't have been a bad deal, but, it, you know, apparently, I, you know, I don't know why Rex uh, signed with Buffalo, but um, did they even chase him? Like I said, I've been out of the loop for a minute here. Did they even try and chase him? I don't believe he was on the list of idiots. No, he was not on there. Well, Scoops, you look at your Raiders. I know, Scooby, I know you're a ra- huge Raiders fan. And uh, you look at your team now, man. Look, at Manning's gone. Man- Manning's done. Consider him just pretty much out of the league, out of that division. You got Rivers kind of, you know, already past his peak. You've got probably the best quarterback, up and quarterback in that division. You've got a good nucleus. I think. I think you're right. I think if you had a Rex Ryan coach, a bigger name, I think they could have done a little more. I think De- Del Rio is out here in two years. At least it's a name. And that reminds me, going back to Peyton Manning, I believe the last time I called the show was right before the season, and I made a bold statement stating that Denver would not make the playoffs. I was incorrect. They would not win the playoff game. You guys were mm-hmm. all ball-washing Peyton Manning. I told, you he's finished. I told you he's finished. The tape was out on Seattle. The guy is old. He has a hurt back, and he throws wobbly passes in the cold weather. It's too many not chicken win parms. Anything. He's done. Yeah, Renee said he's had too many chicken parms. Yeah. Well, you know what? I just, I just read today in, in his defense, and, and yeah, I think he's, he's, he's lost it, and if I was him, I would retire before he really is tarnished. But I just read today that he was playing – with a, a, a torn quadricep muscle. Yeah. Now you mix that in with oh, the neck on. and the whole yeah. arm. Aaron Rodgers played with a torn calf and he threw for 307 it's yards and three touchdowns. All I'm out. saying is, is you can't push off. You got a bad back and you got a like, torn muscle. Like stop stroking it. He's done. True, he's done. You can't push off because yeah. something physically was wrong with this man because in all the way up to the last three weeks of this season he was throwing just fine. Yeah. And in the last three weeks of the season something happened to this man to where he could not throw the ball at all anymore. So, I, you know, I don't know what it is. And Scooby, you may be just right because it just caught up well, to Scoobs, him. Well, uh, Scoobs, as you know, we're both degenerates. Uh, I'm hoping you took the Cowboys and the points because we covered barely. So it was, it was kind of nice even without yeah, the Yeah, I took the money covered. line. I had the second half. Uh, it was all on that one play. Dude. Yeah. The whole fucking thing. Swing the whole, the whole way because of that one idiot crooked zebra over there. Yeah, I can't I, Jerry Jones didn't go through this. Go on the field. I would have had a heart attack if I owned this team. That yeah, it was. It was crazy. I was in that Packers bar as you saw, man. It was pretty insane for me. I bragged in one minute and then getting it shoved in my face. But uh, before that, you go, Scoops again, man. Thanks for calling in, buddy. We appreciate. It. We miss you. Um, what, what's your call for the Super Bowl here, man? Who gets? Who wins these games? And do they cover? Did the favorites cover the spreads? Uh, it'll be Tom Brady versus uh, Seattle. Uh, uh, Patriots win by twelve points. Uh, Patriots win by twelve. Okay, what do you think Seattle does? It's at a seven, seven and a half right now against Green Bay. Do they cover that? Yep, they're going to actually Ooh. blitz people at Aaron Rodgers and not, yeah, you know, uh, throw 11 back into coverage. Yeah, what yeah. Knocker said. Again, so but he's, Scooby's going with both the favorites. Again, I like a Brady versus Sherman matchup in the Super Bowl, man. You know they hate each other. They got that smack talk. So Who wins the Super Bowl? Uh, New England New- over the page. Whoa. Over, over Seattle. I like Whoa. it. Brady with the fourth Whoa. ring, baby. Check the Scoobs out. I like it. Hey, I'm a big Brady guy. I'm a big fan of him. So I, he, I know I wish you he was are. my quarterback over at Oakland, but we have – their car so you know (laughs) well excuse me appreciate man you want to give a shout out for for where you work at you want to give the website a shout out no currently my website my website's broken you can't even go on (laughs) just wanted to say hello to my friends and hello to johnny and hope hope you guys have a good 2015 and i'll call in more yeah do we miss you you, we gotta get a golf trip man we love you buddy we really do we gotta get a golf uh 
uh, well, Audi I, he'll on have the to stop over in the new studio. Yeah, we're building well, a new studio. Hey. Scoops, you didn't hear we're building brand new studios, man. Legit, we'll have to have you down. Hey, we are holding another we golf. Not. We are holding another uh, golf tournament here. Uh, we need to announce this pretty soon so we can get some money in and get some people signed up, Josh. Oh but, yeah, yeah. Um, we got to make sure you know. Scooby's schedule is clear for this golf tournament. Yeah. Save the Give date Scooby first. The date. First weekend in May. Save the date, Scoops. Okay. What day is that? First All weekend right, in May. Golf Thank tournament. Thank you. Miss you. See ya. You All too, right, brother. Love you, buddy. Bye. Love that man, man. I miss him. Yeah, miss the for sure. We should definitely have him in the new show. All right, uh, continuing. We just talked about the Broncos um, once again. So the Raiders. We talked about Jack Del Rio. John Fox out with the, out a mutual parting, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's basically John Elway saying they didn't agree basically on the philosophies. And mm -hmm. John Elway, if you didn't catch it, was fantastic in his press conference because he actually thanked himself. <laughs> Did he really? Did you see that video? No. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. He went in, he's like, I've been working long hours. I, I just, I'm not. Knocker, stop fucking complaining. Seriously. I'm not complaining. I'm just. You're, you're, no, get on fucking ESPN and just look. It's not that hard. You get off like 30 minutes, you can catch up in a day. It's not that hard. I agree. It's, I saw uh, it. Seriously. I saw it. Um, I'll kill him. This is what makes me think that John Elway may be an alien. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those lizard people. Besides the teeth? Oh, well, God. yeah, but do, you don't have the clip, do you? Oh, there it is, Renee. Exactly. Well I think John Elway might be a lizard person. Really? Renee, I have the clip of it. Can you give me uh, give me my sound pretty higher? This is John Elway, okay, for his press conference. I need to hear this. Okay, uh, that happened yesterday, I believe. So here we go. So hopefully the internet will play it through. Play. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. It's a vine, so it could take a second to okay. load up. And uh, good luck to Mr. Awesome's daughter. He's he's checking out because he's got to study with her. She's got a huge test tomorrow. So this, good luck. Uh, Here we go. Sorry. Press conference with uh, a thank you to John Elway. Or John <laughs> Turn out this. Uh, That's awesome. Press conference with uh, a thank you to John Elway. Or John Elway. Turn out this. Uh, <laughs> Who says their own name like that? <laughs> Seriously. Wow. How many Seriously. times have you said your own name, Renee? How by every day. day. Like, how, how, look in the mirror. When he's turning Japanese. <laughs> turning <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> how many times alien. do you say your own name? X Files, bro. I'm telling you, dude. That shit's just crazy. You man. might screw up the name, but you never say your full name. Yeah. I want to think John Elway. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> John Fox <laughs> Whoever, is out. How do you screw that up? <laughs> I don't care. Who get it does either. that? He was practicing his. He was. It was a lizard person. We'll have to get speech. Scully and Mulder on that shit. Check That's out John awesome. Elway on there. So, I'm telling you, get. Just saying. I, I watched that show so religiously when it was on. Oh, yep. so did I. So, oh, I loved it. A good show. Yeah, it was. All right, so John Fox out in Denver. The whole staff was basically told, hey, you guys can go ahead and look for new jobs because yeah. you're not going to have one when it comes next season. So I think, I think it's absolutely right move. And I think I said Do they said bring this, Peyton back? I, I, okay, I think I said this. Wrap it up, though. I, think got, I said yeah. this last week. If Peyton goes out in the first round and doesn't look good, he retires. He okay. had to make it to the Super Bowl to come back another year. Denver has basically said, okay, we're done. Yeah. We tried. We gave it a three-year run. We did the best we could. We gave it to Peyton Manning to lead us to the promised land. John Fox done. was just yeah. a coach. He's going to make a lot of money next year. So, no, Peyton is not going to be with the Denver Broncos next year. Okay. No. Now that Peyton's out, real quick, John, I'm going to go to you, too. Who are your top five quarterbacks now? Is Peyton In the league? Yeah. Give them to me. Just real quick. Man. Russell I'm Wilson, uh, Tom that. Brady. Um, Come on, you should know who the top five quarterbacks are. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Uh, ben Ro there you go, Renee. Yeah, we're gonna go it break. gets a little muddy uh, after that. Uh, ben Roethlisberger. You motherfucker, give him some fucking credit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude broke fucking records this year. Now that Peyton Manning's out, a lot of these quarterbacks, you're Ben Roethlisberger. Sitting, you're yeah. sitting there trying to think Joe of why you could diss it. Give us uh, your top five. I'll get it, it, I'll get it when we come Flacco. back. We'll get it when we come I'm back. Give go us your top five. I'm going to and Flacco. Okay, well, well, give us your top Lucky five you're QBs. you're not going to put Luck up in there? It could, we could have a Royal Rumble here at you break. You know what? You're right. Over Roethlisberger. Trying to school no, over Flacco. Go Flacco. Go Flacco and Oliver Luck. We're back after this. It's going to be a fight.
scrambling, gambling, a must rock with mandolins and violins. We just sitting here trying to win, trying not to sin. How off weed and lots of gin, so much smoke need oxygen. Suddenly counting them Benjamins, nigga you should too. If you knew what this game would do to you, been in this shit since 92. Look at all the bullshit I've been through. So called beef with you know who, fuck a few female stars or two. Then I blew like niggas move like Mike shit, not to be fucked with. But fuck better duck quick, cause me and my dogs love to buck shit. Fuck the luck shit, strictly aim, no aspirations to fuck the game. Spit your game, fuck your shit, grab your gap, call your clip, squeeze your clip, hit the right one. Pass that weed, I got the light one. All them niggas, I got the fight one. All them hoes, I got the light one. Our situation is a tight one. What you gonna do? Fight or run? Seems to me that you take B, bone and big, nigga die slowly. I'ma tell you like a nigga told me, cash roll everything around me. Shit, lyrically, niggas can't see me. Fuck it, buy the coke, cook the coke, cut it. Know the bitch before you call yourself loving it. Nigga with a bench fucking it. Doesn't it seem hard to you? Bitch come through with mobs and crews. Just fellas down to the most of do. Welcome back. 
to the Sportscast live, Icebox Studios. I want to thank all the fans, listeners, once again. Again, check us out on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Podcast One. Download, subscribe, leave a message, rate the show. Also on Facebook, Instagram, Sportscast as well. And, of course, on Twitter. I um, want to thank all you guys again. Making this 2015 is going to be fantastic. Again, new studios coming up this year. And those are going to be sponsored by JuiceWhip.com, guys. Official sponsor of the brand new studios we're building and of this show, JuiceWhip.com. Uh, the official number one horchata seller in the United States. And uh, if you've never had horchata, it's basically think of a churro, which everyone loves, mm-hmm. in liquid form. Like, it's like drinking uh, your milk. Pudding. Rice pudding. Remember when you loved it at the end of your cereal? Yeah, the cinnamon, the sugar on yeah, the you, like the bottom. Yeah, the bottom of the cinnamon crunch. toast crunch. Oh, yeah, you, that's, that's basically exactly what horchata, what horchata is. is. You mix some rum in that for, the, you know, the olales, you know, the rum chatas. Uh, Renee, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. You make rum, rum chata coffee, everything. So, JuicyWhip.com, guys, official sponsor of the show. Checked them out today. Again, you guys can call the show as well. 818-435-8423, as Scooby did early. Wanted to give uh, Scooby another big shout-out. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, buddy. Um, let's finish up uh, before we get to shout-out. I feel like week. a hockey player now. Yeah. My headphones, man. I know. You taped up. I you broke like Squint's Paladora. I broke them, took my there. stitches, didn't miss the shift, man. Johnny was pretty good on the spot Thank right you, there. Thank you, Johnny. Within Johnny on minutes, the spot right there, Five buddy. minutes. It's like a little pit crew, dude, during the break. Yeah. He's like, you second. Like, He's like a little MacGyver over there when it comes to electronics and uh, <laughs> studio <laughs> equipment. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a good thing because yeah. I was afraid the show was going to end after tonight's show because we were all about ready to kill each other here pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, like, that's it's very I'm, passionate off the air here, guys. It is. Pre-show. <laughs> like, seriously, if you... I, I off the air show might a, be better than the on-air show. I should just leave my phone running now uh, during break because literally... You should. I almost beat the shit out of Johnny and Buttknocker at the break. And I'm yelling at you. You're yelling at me. You told yeah. me you didn't tell me you had business cards. I told you you had business cards. Those yeah. are business cards. Oh Johnny's God. showing you, like, his memorabilia Ben Roethlisberger just to show how great he is over Joe Flacco. I mean, it was getting Johnny intense. wanted to kill me, man. When you brought Johnny up the Roethlisberger me, boner man. underwear, I thought it was okay. Here's the thing. Uh-oh. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is, there we go. Give me but, a- but the way Bud hesitated on it makes me know that he secretly does. He just doesn't want to say it because... <laughs> Exactly. He doesn't want to give something. me props. You know what I mean? Yeah, he never does. I know he Who doesn't does? want to give me props. No one does. But he just, knows the truth. You know, you pump yourself up so much, John. I, I can't just yeah, really, you you can't, add to it. Yeah, Sometimes can't, it's just you can't add to that big know. head of yours already. Hey, you know what, dude? You ought to, is there any way to get that thing that you just bought on camera? Yeah. Because that's that, a bitching little little like piece of... Thing? I think that's that's cool, man. So we can get that on camera. What, his new golf? Johnny just bought this, this little cabinet that's awesome. i don't know exactly what you would call it it's from the country from the ireland but it, it's it's a, a golf cabinet the music. it's got a place to put your golf you know your putter and whatever it it's got a hole down at the bottom so you can practice putting and it's just a cool piece of furniture you, you pick that up for like 30 bucks yeah, at, a, awesome. at a spot oh guys I thought that was pretty impressive, man. Hey, you know, you got to... Hey, we'll have an antique show at the new studios. Oh, you and Johnny. Boy. Johnny's swap meet extravaganza. <laughs> Listen, 20... Saturdays, 9 to 10. Tw- I see this thing. I'm walking through. My wife goes, oh, you got to look at that. I look at it, and I go, oh, my God. That thing is amazing. <laughs> How much is it? $25? Are you There's kidding no me? no way that I'm letting wow, this go. winning. I yeah. grabbed it. I bought it right there. I had her look it up on the way home. It's 200 bucks. That's a, that's a box. Cool, and it's brand new. That's a qu- cool quality item, yeah. Clark. It's a quality item. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'd like to try and see if I can uh, <laughs> re- rehab that thing on my way oh, out of here. Oh man. <laughs> it's right. considered a uh it's 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 a what liquor What is it cabinet. called? It's a, a liquor, liquor cabinet. cabinet. Okay, I could buy that. Where'd you get it? Cabinet. Where'd you get it? The Goodwill. Oh. Bro, you just, I just I'm you over here producing. I wasn't listening, you Smoke weed every day. Hey Johnny, Johnny, I got a video. Hey Johnny, check this video out. Yeah. Hey, dude. Tell well, him that story. Let me tell, tell, quick. tell a story. Renee comes up to me today. He walks in today. First. <laughs> Donor! Okay, me and Renee, we were together. Renee comes into the Heidi and Frank show on Tuesday mornings. He kind of <laughs> hangs out and just checks out what's going on. Kind of prepping him, showing him what like the real radio world is. Not a bunch of bullshit in a fucking room. Uh, what are you trying to say? Part of my job. I think he just tore our shore yeah, apart. Yeah, really? Part of my job. I don't quite know. Listen, but I, we do the ice box apart. out of here, too. <laughs> Part of my job is to <laughs> is to find like popular viral videos that are going around on the internet. <laughs> We're sitting there and uh, you know we watched a bunch of videos. All right, cut to today. Renee comes over for the show, walks to the door, goes, "What's up, man? What's up, Renee? What's going on? Hey, dude, I I 
I sent you this video online. You should check it out. Because we were watching all these videos right. yesterday. So he's like, oh, fucking, I'm going to send him this video. Yeah. <laughs> and I go, oh, dude, I saw, yeah, I saw like an email come through about that. Uh, uh, what, what, what was it? And he goes, oh, dude, it's these kids in Venice, right? And they're, <laughs> it's this prank. And they got, and I go, Coke in the back of their car, right? And he goes, yeah. And I go, yeah, dude, I saw that video. Dude, I, you know. Dude, we watched that video together. I showed that <laughs> video to you yesterday. <laughs> yeah, a, and he's producing this thing. Right? So Weed affects you in no way. Yes, no way <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> That's twice in literally, dude, you, I mean, an hour? That happened an hour ago. Right? You did that. No, I just had another one. It's like my brain resets itself. <laughs> it's like, awesome. It's oh, fantastic. fantastic. I got it at the Goodwill. Got it at the good I think well. that's an awesome piece it's of quality furniture, item. It's quality, quality item, John. Clark. Quality item. Thank you. Uh, real, uh, before we move on uh, to Shot of the Week, real quick, we didn't talk about Rex Ryan, but we did a little bit. Your thoughts, him going to Buffalo real quick. Awesome. I think it's great. I think it's great, too. Absolutely. I think he still stay, he's in that division. He's going to get all his revenge games against the Patriots, against mm-hmm. the Jets. He's got a 9-7 a and seven team, mm-hmm. a great defense. But he has I no think quarterback. He's again. No, again. But I think if he can bring in an offensive coach where – the offensive coach. Well, Eagles can have pa- a lot to do with his success. Well, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. I think if he can put that ego sign and say, you know what, let me go get an offensive minded coach, a good yep. guy, and have him build a relationship with this new quarterback, yep. and I will stay out of that. Yep. They will be together. I will stick with my defense and my head coaching jobs. And I think if he does that, I think it can really work in Buffalo. They've been in the playoffs for 15 years or something. <laughs> You know what he did after he got hired? He went out and drank beers with Jim Kelly at a local bar. That's how fucking cool Rex Ryan is. That's awesome. It's like, I know he's annoying, but it's like everyone loves him. Well, that's the thing to do there. He's though. like the Santa of the NFL. He's like drinking awesome. In local bars. <laughs> we just got to it around. What? What's going <laughs> Sportscast underscore THN. At Johnny Icebox is killing the show. <laughs> <laughs> What does that even yeah, mean? I don't even know how to take multiple that. multiple things. Is that an insult or is that, yeah, is that, yeah. or is that, that a compliment? That is yeah, he that killing mean, it or is, is he killing it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. Elaborate. Um, elaborate, yeah. exactly. Who's that from? <laughs> it's from Dr. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a doctor. He should be able to figure it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is that a compliment yeah. or an insult? <laughs> Your mom's a doctor. Your mom. Your mom goes to college. <laughs> Awesome, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's so, awesome. All right, let's go. Shot of the week. Do you like Rex Ryan? You're only even your Buffalo guy. Yeah, we'll go shot of the week. I mean, like, yeah, he's a good like coach. Uh, let's see what he does. If he turns that team around. I don't think they had a bad year this year. No, they had the um, best year in 15 years. Yeah. So. EJ, EJ's not the answer, though, right? No, You're EJ not going to win with EJ. Okay, Where EJ are they drafting? The Do you know what their draft position is by any chance? I, they, they, I think teams. they traded their draft this year. I think so they're going to get a first round. They might, yeah. That's going to hurt. Still, I mean. But seriously, I mean, how many how many great quarterbacks come out of the first round? Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, you look for those those guys who really strive for it, and yep. and the ones who mm-hmm. you know you get a you get a fifth round, sixth round quarterback who really hey, wants to fight. The for two guys position. that are probably sure. going to be the Super Versus Bowl, Brady the and Russell, were drafted what? In the th- Russell was third round. Yeah, Brady, well, Brady was, was fifth, fifth or sixth or something. Yeah. I mean, look at the two Just guys. Like probably Montana, be the third round. round. So you almost don't want to. Yeah, I round. agree with you. So, all right, let's get your shot of the week award. Brought to you by PW Side Construction. Check them out, pwconstructioninc.com, guys. Fish sponsor the shot of the week. Um, all right. Go ahead, Knuckle. We'll send you off the board first. Okay. Um, well, we only have one on Twitter, so I'll go with his first. His shot of the week goes to the Buckeyes. Okay. Not even Knocker thought Ugh. they would do it. You know what? Um, he built a good thing, man. It, it just Ohio State, they're big. They're fast. They've lost one game in two years. Uh, that's a hell of a team right there. And uh, um, you got to give it to him. Now, you know, if I'm Oregon <laughs> – you got to go beat the shit out of those two receivers that got their asses suspended because those two drop passes, okay, those two drop passes killed two drives, and the Buckeyes just turned it on them, and, and, and Oregon couldn't recover. But um, anyway, that's his shot of the week. Mm-hmm. My shot of the week is going to Tamu Solani. Had his jersey uh, retired yes, 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 by yes. the Anaheim Ducks. The no, first a couple jersey, people went to this, yeah. The first jersey retired by that franchise. No one's more deserving um, you know, they had a little controversy at the end of his career. He made some comments, wrote a book with some, some a few disparaging things to say. But everything has been smoothed over. Um, so congratulations to him, the finished flash, uh, one of the best players, one of the best gentlemen in the history of the game. Uh, so, you know, here's, here's to them. Okay. 
Renee, what do you got? My shot of the week, I, f- I have two, shot and shit. My shot goes out that I found out uh, there's only three weeks of uh, the pitchers report to spring training in three weeks. Okay, so yeah, it's good So baseball's you. kind of getting closer. Baseball's going back. And my shot, uh, my shit of the week. Merry <laughs> Christmas! Okay. Jitter with ball! Shit of the week goes out to John Jones for only spending one day yeah, in rehab, rehab for after cocaine. <laughs> He's like, dude, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, he does. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I Long did hear Jones? about that. Yeah, remember we talked about yeah. last week? Last he was week? in rehab for one day. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what you s- Okay, he just said that. <laughs> what is wrong with people on this show? Does no one listen to anyone on this show? I'm sorry. I was looking at Dr. Rob's response. Knock out when I talk. Oh my yeah. God, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to read it verbatim? Okay, at sportscast underscore THN. Killing it as in the monitor is flatlining. Hashtag get the pads. I don't know what that means. Dr. Rob, could you re-explain your next answer to John? I, yeah. I don't know. Tell him what oh, it means. Oh, flatlining as his heart stopped. The show is flatlining. Get the pads. Clear. Oh. oh. Clear. Don't. Oh, I got it. Okay. I got it, Dr. Okay, Rob. Got so it. Okay. It's saying, a doctor reference. See, Josh? Yes. See, um, Johnny, so I guess he's telling you to just shut the fuck up and oh. get off the air. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's what he said, dude. You're killing our show, man. Yeah. Dr. Rob, <laughs> I would rip you a new one right now, but I'm not going to do that. Well, tell him just listen, I've been around with this show a lot fucking longer than you have, all right? I'll say what the fuck I want to say. I crap bigger than you. And if it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't mean anything. If it's complete bullshit and I'm boring, I don't give a fuck. Oh my God. But I'm not going to wow. say that. Okay. Whose show is this anyway? I'm just kidding, Dr. Rob. Give him a shot of the week. Go do some surgery. To Dr. Rob. <laughs> is your shot for Dr. Rob or is your shit for Dr. Rob? My uh, shot is for Mr. Dick LeBeau. Okay. Who's left the Steelers. Oh, that's a Steelers reference. Uh, yes, Shocking. Of course. Are, you, are you sad? I, I... A little bit. It's an end of an era. It's an, it's an end of an era. <laughs> Uh, today, even though no one's listening to each other, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what I don't know what the whole inside deal was with that. I mean, there's a lot of back and forth between whether he was fired or whether he left or mm-hmm. he resigned. It's kind um, of a John Fox situation. But anyway, end of an era. So yeah, it's the end of an era. I mean, his hell of know, a run. He the uh, steel curtain uh, is going to be a little bit different without him. Okay. Um. So I'm giving my shot to him. He was a hell of a player, by the way. I don't know. You're not old enough to have seen him play. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean he guy's was 77. He's been in the, uh, you know, 52 something years. He played with like the that. Lions uh, with football. Len Barney and, and Alice Karras back in those days. He was a hell of a football yep. player. Okay. That yep. dude could play. Well, yep. because I, I'm a man of integrity on this <laughs> show. <laughs> you never tell you look like a penis with a little hat on. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few people you owe bet payoffs to that might not agree uh, with that statement. Uh, <laughs> well, tell him to suck my ball. Because uh, I'm a man of some integrity on okay, this show. Okay, very good. There you uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> my shot of the week, or two of them, are going to go to one, to Aaron Rodgers for just being a fucking man, dude. I don't care whether the catch or not. You just you go out there on a bum yeah. leg and do what you do a week in and week out. Aaron Rodgers. Then my last one's going to go for the sexiest man, the best uh, soccer player in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo, <laughs> who wins the uh, 2014 Ballard Day Award. Uh, over me- beating Lionel Messi and Manuel Noir, so uh, He's a gay shout- <laughs> <laughs> Play the song, man. Shout of the week award. Everybody! I so look forward to that because oh. I don't drink. That any other oh, time, but, but shot of the week. Burned. Right I look. Well, I kind of like Jones for it. Like Wednesday oh, about noon yeah. when I'm at work. Yeah. yeah, I get some of that cinnamon whiskey tonight. Uh, yeah, that's that's not that, stuff. dude. Hmm? That's not. Oh, that. that's uh, the crown, huh? That's the crown reserve. Uh, that was tasty. It yeah. was so good. I'm, I'm a whiskey for the guy. shot for the week. Knocker. <laughs> we had a huge game a couple nights ago. Let's get into it. We are talking the first. Unquestioned, undisputed national championship team in the history Baller, man. of the NCAA. What the Buckeyes did was just what Urban Meyer did and what just Cardell did. Three games? This kid, Cardell. I mean, now, now he was. Uh, now, 12 Eze- games, bitches. Ezekiel Elliott is, is a stud, man. Oh, he running was back under the radar. But Cardell. Three times in crucial situations, 
he tucked the ball and he ran and he showed just that he's just a man. 6'5, 250 pounds. He went one on one with the nose guard. 6'5, 305 from Oregon, needing two yards. They met and he basically pushed him those two yards. Two or three times in crucial situations, he used that size to get crucial first downs, um, which propelled them to the championship. Undisputed. There is no doubt in anybody's mind on earth that they are the best team in the country, and that's the beauty of the playoff. That's why you have to have a playoff. In In the old system, they would not even have participated. It would have been Oregon and Alabama. Were you surprised by the outcome? No. No, I thought Oregon would win, but I'm not surprised that that Ohio State won. That that was a badass team. They went down, and, and they beat a very good Alabama team. They didn't just beat them. They beat the crap out of them. Um, the weakest team of the four proved to be Florida State. Um, I, I think Oregon definitely was. Do you think TCU would have had any shot? Against Ohio State? Yeah. No. I don't think either. No. I think that bulldozed. No, they're, they're, they're the same. They don't have as, as tough a defense they're, as They don't Oregon have a good did. athletes. They just don't. Well, they're yeah, they're I mean, not as big, and they weren't, the they're not as good on alone. defense as Oregon. Maybe on offense they are as good because they throw up a lot of points, but they're throwing them up in a conference that doesn't score a lot of points. All right. Well, what, I do, what I do enjoy about all this, what's going to happen in the next few years in college football, the teams that schedule soft teams – out of conference are going to get penalized. And that's what happened to TCU. Yeah. Ohio State played Virginia Tech. Um, I'm not sure exactly who the other teams were, but their out of conference schedule was much tougher than either Baylor's and or TCU. Right. Well, and the college, the, the committee well. said, we're taking all games into consideration. So what this is going to stop is these teams playing Samford and, and you know, Northeast Louisiana State and, and those money games for the smaller schools they're going to have to stop doing that. You're going to have to play bigger name schools. And if you don't, if you're not undefeated, you're not going to get in the championship game. USC next year has the weakest non-conference schedule that they've ever had in the history of the school. And I'm, and I'm very disappointed with it. Um, Mariota, though. Heisman Trophy winner goes in, doesn't look good in this game. I don't want to base everything on one game. The guy's had one of the best college careers you could ever have. All right. I don't but think no he national bad. championship. Do you, what do you do if you're the Bucks? I mean, who's who goes first, and how do you think his NFL career goes? I think I think the Bucks will will draft him. You don't think Winston's going to win over the Bucks? If, and Lovey Smith uh, over there. I think Lovey and Winston are just meant for each other. I think it's a great PR move. I mean, how do you how, how do you go wrong if you're Tampa Bay? Unless this guy totally and completely flames that flames out. Right. But you pick a Florida guy, a Florida national champion. A Florida name. You're going to put butts in the seats that haven't been there for five years. So if I'm Tampa Bay, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to roll the dice, and I'm going to I'm going to draft Jameis Winston. Yeah, so would I. Because we, he's a hometown boy. So Mariota, what, as far as his career, I think he's just too small. You saw him take a couple hits in that game from Ohio State players. Got shooken up at the end. He is not small. He's 6'5", 200-something pounds. I understand that, but he's pounds. not big, though. He's not, a, he's not built for the no, NFL. But, he's but, a product of the system. No, I see him as a Russell Wilson guy. If he gets into a system where, like, Russell Wilson is playing – where he can just throw the ball and run when he has to, and he's smart enough to do that, I think he's going to be very good success. Um, what I'm loving is what's going on at Michigan. This this could not be better for the Big well, Ten. Comes in from and this is for you, uh, yeah. Mr. Intelligent. Michigan is quietly putting together an almost pro coaching staff. Damn near 49ers in the Midwest. Smack, you know, shake my head, laugh out loud. Thoughts? Thoughts are the smack talk in the Big Ten. Is going to commence here. I Real can't wait. episode. Harbaugh, Urban Meyer. You got Urban Meyer who won't engage in Michigan it. Michigan State, don't leave the Spartans and, out. And I was going to say, D'Antonio is going to be yeah. right in the mix with all this. You, you know, uh, Mike Riley. Mike Riley ain't going to take a back seat over at over at um, um, Nebraska. Uh, James Franklin over at Penn State. Just He's going to build Big Ten something. Fans, you didn't win this championship, so stop saying exactly oh, one the team. Big Ten. One team no, went one, stop. and they're far superior than any other team Shut you have in your league. Win for the Buckeyes, no but one everybody else. in the Big in the Big Ten right now has got a huge Roethlis boner going on. They got the yeah. big stiffy going on that we're irrelevant again, and we're going to be all that. Calm down going to take Michigan a couple of years but what's going on there is a great thing and, and I think Harbaugh made a great move I really do think he made a great move stepping down from the pros 
going back to build a program where he's not going to die of a heart attack yeah. in the next few years. I think this is a great move for him. The Big Ten could not be happier. He's assembling a good staff. He's going to get a quarterback in there, not the two knuckleheads they've had the last few years. He's still got some players. Michigan will be back on the map in a couple of years, and it's great for the Big Ten. But uh, the NCAA uh, got it right. I mean, there's no denying that a playoff needed to happen. It worked. We got the right champion. Let's move on. Let's make it an eight-team thing, and and let's rock and roll, man, because it's the greatest spectacle. That game was the most watched event in the history yeah. of television. It was fantastic. It was a good game. So, all right, guys. Well, everyone's been wondering what we're going to do with our Pigskin Pick'em champion. Yeah, what are we going to do? Well, What's we've up? up? We've come up with it. Blast that shit for me, Renee. Seriously, what's, where's the volume, man? Yeah. What the hell? What, are like your parents in the next room or something? <laughs> what? What the Sometimes fuck? Sometimes if the music's too loud, it's hard to hear you guys. Yeah. So, you See, know. Your like, job is not to hear it. Smoking your job is to play the damn music loud. Yeah. I'll tap you on the shoulder if I need you. There exactly. You so. <laughs> That ain't my finger, baby. <laughs> <laughs> really, I ain't yeah. tapping with my finger, yeah, baby. Uh, tap, 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 Peru. All right. Love um, master, baby. Now, we had three winners for our pigskin pickup. Yes, we, we did. We get sponsored by Island's Burgers. Tight. Um, so we're like, well, everyone's got to win something. We had a $200 visa up for grabs uh, here, and we had three contestants at the top. Now, thinking about it, we went back and forth. We're going to go ahead and we decide on we're going to go ahead and give a $50 gift card out to each one of you. Okay. So these should come away with something. Right. Okay. okay that's you want for free. Okay. This was all for free. <laughs> really? Okay, people. It didn't cost you nothing. Okay. But we have Mr. Awesome. We have Roadrunner and MX811. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we're our top three. So we figured for the last $50 gift card, again, sponsored by Islands Burgers. Okay. We got three $50 ones. So that's $150. And we had $200 to spend. So we had $50 left. Right. So me and Johnny and you came up with, okay. You guys need to go ahead and email us again at the new sports at gmail.com or tweet us or some Facebook us. Contact us. Contact us. Okay. Phone Make call. sure you get a call. Um, if you at least want the extra fifty. Otherwise you're just getting a fifty dollar gift card. Sure. You gotta get in hold of us. Before twenty four hours before the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. I need your winner and your final score prediction. And that is how we were gonna go ahead and base off that last fifty dollar gift card. Okay, so let me get this straight. If if um, I'm one of those three, and I pick, um, let's just say I Patriots pick the winner Seahawks. of the game. I pick the winner of the game. Okay. Okay. And the other two pick the loser. Yes. Right. You I win. win. We don't go to points. I automatically win. We don't go to points. No points. Okay. So if I pick the winner and one other person picks the winner, or all three of us pick the same team and okay. we all win, then it's going to go to total points. Yes, and I'll go whoever picked closest to the score. Over under doesn't matter. No, closest to the just final closest score. to the final score. Yep. Okay, do you all understand that? Those are the rules. Everybody understand three, that? Three winners, okay? They should probably follow you on Twitter, and you follow them back, and then you guys do this through direct message. Well, that's what I said. Tweet so us, so go ahead. I mean, I know Mr. Well, awesome. I follow Mr. Awesome, so. Yeah, and he, yeah, yeah. I think you should do it in private. It's your buddy that's before. at work is the third one, yeah, right? Yeah, Yeah, he's well, And I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure who Roadrunner 2006 Cliff is. So, Cliff, get a hold of me some way. Tweet yes. me, email me. The other two I know I can get a hold well, of. Obviously, so. he watches the show, and he's part of it, yeah. so he can get he's a hold of us and give us his pick. Follow my ass on Twitter. Follow my Cast, so <laughs> no, I'm the other You're black the other. guy. Exactly. So <laughs> that was great. Wasn't that the best clip ever, dude? Um, again, come, you guys want to call the show 818-435-8423. We got our uh, NFL picks coming up uh, in just a little bit. Also going to get into uh, a little NBA news as well. But we got our bonehead of the week this week, and uh, it's a doozy. Like we were talking about before, Knocker, you've uh, you have kids. Yes. You've gone to your uh, fair share of uh, parent-teacher conferences. Would you yes. say? Yes. Well, our bonehead of the week comes from your peppy pants, Chicago Bears. Bonehead <laughs> of the week. Duh, Bears. Duh, Bears. <laughs> Talk to me. This doozy comes from uh, Chicago once again, and his name is Tim Jennings, also a cornerback for the Bears. Duh, Bears. Kind of looks okay. like Hanley Ramirez a little bit. He, d he does look a little bit like Hanley Ramirez, yeah. just a little just bit. A tad bit. I don't even know what the fuck Hanley Ramirez looks like. You don't know what Hanley Ramirez looks like? <laughs> no, I'm not that deep into all this, man. I don't know what guys look you like. You know, there's this thing called the internet. <laughs> it works. You can actually research stuff on it. I'm kind of scared Renee knows this now. You can Google it. <laughs> you know that, right? Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so Jennings, Tim, what did Tim he James. do? Uh, according to the Let Chicago me guess, though. Okay. Wait, no, wait no, let's no, get the no, time. No. Time no, frame well, first. he was going to teacher conference 
So I'm going to say he was picked up at 6.45. Bad boys, bad boys. Let's check it out. What's he going to do? What's he going to do when they come for you? What time did you say? 6.45. He was on a t- to parent-teacher conference. Those usually start like at 7, 7.30. <laughs> so I'm going 6.45, maybe even 6.55 because he had to get that last one. You know, that last shot down before he took off, he was going to arrive 30 minutes late. So I'm going 645, 655. He was arrested at 755 a.m. A.m.? A.m. Going to the parish. 755 a.m.? Yes. I love it. Okay. Go, buddy. Now. Shot, 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 shot. Yeah, can you give me the shot? <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Hey, they take off school now for these goddamn <laughs> parachutes and conferences. Shot, 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 that Jennings said he had stopped drinking at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, this guy's just boozing. Play the shot song again. He's just partying in the morning, like, all the way, just like, friends! <laughs> I know I got teacher yeah. conference at 8 a.m., but... And uh, you know what? I know exactly what was going through his Give mind. Give some fitty in the back, I know dude. Do you have fitty up there? <laughs> this is what's going through this dude's mind. All right, man. It's, it's one o'clock. And I got a parent conference at, at like seven thirty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, Fuck it. If I stop now, it's my birthday. Take me, take me an hour, uh, forty-five minutes to drive home. Uh, if I get to bed, I can get like six hours sleep. I'll be cool. Yeah. I'll be cool. All right. At, at two a.m., he's going. Well, okay. Dude, guys, I should today. probably stop, right? You know, Give me some water. You know, if I do just do one more, drink a couple <laughs> glasses of water, take some pill, you know, some Tylenol, I'll be okay by, by the morning. A couple waters, three hours of <laughs> sleep, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be okay. <laughs> Don't you do that when you're on a run? You his just count shot, the hours you that you think you're going to get to sleep. Me. We've got his mugshot here. He looks like he's had a drug. He's smiling. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm fucked up. Yeah, I'm fucked up. <laughs> he looks like he's Jamaican, dude. <laughs> he does look like he's Jamaican. Hey, man, me hey, just man. got pulled over for beer. He goes and talks to the teacher. What's up, hey, man? I'm like, keep doing mine. Hey, man, I've been drinking red strap <laughs> all night. You drinking know, red strap all I'm not night danger. <laughs> he also refused to take the breathalyzer. I'm sure he uh, did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's our bonehead of the week. Oh, man. Uh, quarterback Tim James for the Chicago Bears. You can check out the story at thenewsportscrew.com. Um, now, Knocker, I, I don't I don't think I have the drop for NASCAR news on me right now. Let me see if I have it because we've actually got some NASCAR news, Knocker, for dude, you. We haven't done NASCAR news in a long, I know, long I don't time. Think, I, know, I don't think. Come on, man. You got to find the, the banjos, dude. Come have, on. Do you have banjos over there, Renee? Do you have, do you have banjos? Come on, dude. Uh, let me see. Are you, you serious? We've banjos. lost the drop for NASCAR news. Yeah, I don't know if I've got banjos. I hate you. No, it's I not. I hate you. Don't have me. Because you had a bad day. <laughs> I hate you, dude. I don't know you if can't I have it or not. Yeah, I don't know if I have it or not. Oh, you're a dick. Then don't bring it up till next break until you find it. Let's, try to find it, Let's right talk about find something it. else. No. Okay, fine. You want to wait till next break? To yes. I, okay. I'm not you talking want? about NASCAR okay. unless we uh, do the music. Fair, fair. That's fair. Okay. Because we do. We, we, yeah. we have to wait till next if week. If we're going to do it right, let's do it yeah, right. Yeah, let's do it right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have Renee because he's such a great producer and smokes a lot of weed. We'll get oh, it. We're going to right now. I'm going to get it right now. All right, Knocker. Well, let's get into a little bit of this here. I'm coming home to a really bad situation in Cleveland. Wow, what is going on? This is not a smooth sailing at all. He makes his triumphant return last night. And white boy Kevin Love's going, I ain't signing shit <laughs> until the end of the year, man. Oh, no, I'm, I'm out, bro. I ain't signing I'm nothing. playing with the ball hog and Kyrie Irving. <laughs> and I've got to play for a, a coach that I don't even know his name. I don't like him. I don't even know his name. LeBron's pushing him around. He can't be that good. <laughs> we thought Magic was bad on coaches, yeah, right? Really? Jesus. What, what is, is going on over there? I don't know. What the hell is going on in Cleveland? What What do you do if you're Cleveland? I think you do what L.A. did. You fire the damn coach and find someone that LeBron likes. Yep, you saw last night. You invested everything. You invested your franchise in getting this guy back. PR-wise, season ticket-wise, everything-wise. David Blatt, the coach over there in Cleveland right now. Again, who's David Blatt? 
I don't even exactly. know who David what Platt is. What are his is. credentials? And that's what LeBron's saying right now. And, and if Cleveland, they didn't know. Bef- they signed David How do Platt you expect before LeBron? So you can't. I mean, they had their coach I, before. Exactly. How do you expect LeBron? <laughs> he played for Spolstra, who I still they don't got know. Con- they got into conversations, but you know what had backed him up? Their front office. And they're playing yeah, Pat for Riley. Yeah, Pat Riley. To shut the fuck now up. Now you're and playing Pat, for Cleveland see, Cats Pat and Riley, dick owner. Pat Riley has the credentials to tell LeBron, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's our coach. Exactly. I ain't fire him, so shut the fuck up. Because Le- I got Yeah. I got all this. Yeah, now bitch. LeBron's got a couple and be like, okay. no, coach, you shut the fuck well, up. Yeah. You'll sit down. Now in Cleveland, I think Cleveland has no choice but to get rid of the coach. I really do. Poor, poor guy. You know, he gets his shot. He he did he just stepped in the middle of all this. He thought he was coaching a team without LeBron. And then this happens as bad as it is. As 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 it's bad, right? it's professional bad. as it is. Knocker, I mean, they're th- going to have to get rid of him. They have to. I, I season, don't think they have a before choice. Before the season's over? I, before this thing actually tanks, they might not make I mean, Before it totally implodes? Because in. if they don't do it soon, Kevin Love is not coming back. And if Kevin Love doesn't come is, back. You've got to make this decision quick because... You need exactly. to either trade Kevin Love and get something for him, or he's walking. And exactly. Get, and what then you are you going to do? Wiggins and got Love for a crappy season, and you got nothing. Exactly. You 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 acquired Kevin Love for a purpose. You acquired LeBron James for a purpose. You got rid of the players you got rid of for a purpose. Yeah. And if the problem is the coach, right or wrong, the players shouldn't run the run the asylum. But in this case. You 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 need to fire the coach and get somebody that LeBron gets along with and thinks uh, on the exact same lines. Yeah. So he's happy because if he's happy, y- you know, then everybody LeBron else on the team is going to be happy. Exactly. Like LeBron runs that city, runs that team. Without LeBron there, the economy's even. But you knew, than you knew that is. when you brought him home. You knew that. You knew that you were bringing in something. They both that could is walk. Bigger. That's the funny thing is LeBron and, and Love could both be like, "Hey, sorry guys, this isn't working. I'm out." So if I'm the owner. I'm sniffing his ass, and I'm sniffing as Kevin much Love's as you hate ass. It you know he hates yes. you, you know, for the, all the letter before everything. Yep, yep. yep. I hate the whole Is damn thing. Is he going to suck down but his ego and let LeBron actually do this? I, I, th- I think he has no choice. I think he has. I think Love's gone because no he's choice. miserable. He's absolutely miserable. Sure, there. everybody there is miserable right Wiggins now. Wiggins averaging about what 18, 20 points up there in, in Minnesota. Yeah, looking I, pretty good. Everybody so. is miserable on that team right now. I mean, if, you, if you're if you're Kevin Love, you're like, you know what? Yeah, LeBron's good. This isn't working. I'm living in Cleveland. <laughs> exactly. Let's move to Phoenix. Exactly. I'll go play with the Suns and Sunshine. <laughs> I'll go play with the fucking I'll go Lakers. run. I'll go run. Yeah. I'll go play for the Lakers yeah. and be the star in I'll LA. I'll be the savior. Let me come back home. Exactly. You know, I'm just, I think he's gone. <laughs> it's just not working. Well, they uh, need to do something, and they need to do it right now. I, I think agree. at the All-Star break, he's gone. And, and the Cavs, because they have enough talent, will make the playoffs. They're not beating Chicago. They're not beating the wi- now with the Wizards. As much as you know, that it's a young team. I still like the Wizards in the East. The Hawks right now are ridiculous. ATL Atlanta's is going, going off, off shooting right now. In Atlanta, they Atlanta's really going are. off. So what else is going off is I can't believe this guy's still playing. Kevin Garnett still plays basketball, <laughs> and he still thinks he's a badass. And he's still okay. I was gonna. Ask, this is gonna be. A, <laughs> he's the thug. I've got a new segment coming up later. It's gonna be one of my co- questions. Is actually related related to Kevin Garnett. Okay, okay. so. We saw us. I posted the video at the newsportsgroup.com. Again, if you want to see the LeBron James shove on his coach, David Blight, you can check that out as well. I believe it's on the front page. But just go to our NBA section. Uh, Kevin Garnett headbutted Dwight Howard, everyone's favorite, America's God. sweetheart, Dwight Howard, who then slapped him. And uh, KG has now been suspended for one game. Howard went, you bitch. Yeah, you bitch. You bitch. I don't want to <laughs> fight you anymore. Why are you hitting me in the mouth with your head? Stop it. Oh, Stop. My God. He's like, you know what? You want to ever tell you look like a penis with a little hat? <laughs> That's what you look like. <laughs> what the fuck's Garnett doing, dude? And Garnett throws the ball, Seriously. goes up, headbutts him in the chin. Garnett, I, I enjoyed it. When you were young, yeah. Now it's just an act, and you suck, and that's the only reason you could stay on. I mean, not suck, okay? Because you're obviously you're a Hall of Fame player, player, Kevin yeah. Garnett. I mean, not gonna put. But you don't need to take do that. that shit. Kevin Garnett, great player, but just come on, man. I, I'm done with it. Like I'm done with the scene of Kevin Garnett. I'm gonna get in your face. Like as much as I love to do what he did to Dwight, because Dwight, this is not on my good well, side. Well, Dwight's just a guy you know you can punk. Now, why, why does everyone hate Dwight? <sighs> because they can. Do you hate Dwight? I don't care. You and I don't care. I don't Why care. do you think NBA players don't like him, though? I mean, you've had because you've he had got guys all that run, Kobe, and he got he got all Shaq. that run, he got all that run, all that hype, and all this and that. And I think deep down, they really think that he's soft. 
Okay. And and they're just, you know, coming at him now. They're going to make a name for, for, you know, taking him down. And, right. and that's what this is about. And, you know, I don't dig it. He didn't need to do it. That's just that's just stupid. Me too. So, all right, guys, we got a big last f- uh, about half hour, 45 minutes on the show here. Again, guys, you want to check out the podcast on iTunes. Uh, subscribe there. Leave a message. Rate the show. As we get to break, refill your drinks. We got a huge last segment coming up here. We got our over-unders. We're going to recap how we did on the show. Yep. Uh, go through our... Uh, hey, didn't we have a bet last week? I think we did. Have, what, what was our bet? What I don't remember. Either? <laughs> God, no. We're all intelligent on I this I think it show. was that the Cowboys... Would win or Let's cover the it, spread? It was something. I'm not quite sure exactly what it was. I think it was six point spread or I don't. Well, I don't know. We'll have to a replay or we'll, something. We'll, we'll recount yeah. Hey, somehow. but do, before we go, we do have a. Uh, you know, I have to recognize or they won't tweet no, in going. again, go right? Ahead, go ahead. Um, we have Chinfish 13. Okay. Wait, Chinfish 13. This is a new yeah. one. I don't think I've heard of him. Vine of the day. Hockey player taking himself out while the ice produces. Taking himself uh, out while no, leaving he, the ice. Yeah, I posted that. Okay, you hilarious see Vine. This? No. It's, Go to the new sports group.com. This guy he got thrown out of a hockey game, okay? Right. Like AHL game, uh, mid- lower league. Right. He's going, he's, he gets ejected. So he's going out. He smacks his stick against the board, but it gets it caught re- and he clotheslines himself I going out it. of the box. Is that dude. true? Check it out at the break. You go okay, check it out. Okay, well, I just had to recognize that he's watching the show and no, thank you fine. very much for, so, for um, being participating. Also, guys, when we get back, we got our <laughs> picks for the AFC, AFC Championship games. We got, are we going to have a Mexican minute? Yeah, so there's some news. We got some news. We'll get to the Mexican minute. It's probably only going to be a minute. We got uh, NASCAR news with our. If we have the music. If we got the music. And also, Wild World of Sports. We'll be back for one of the craziest Wild World of Sports you're going to see in 2015. We'll be back right after this.
know me, still the same OG, but I've been low key, hated on by most of these niggas with no cheese, no deals and no G's, no wheels and no keys, no boats, no snowmobiles and no skis, mad at me cause I can finally afford to provide my family with groceries, got a crib with a studio and a saw full of tracks, to add to the wall full of plaques, hanging up in the office and back of my house like trophies, did y'all think I'ma let my dough freeze, hold please, you better bow down on both knees, who you think taught you to smoke trees, who you think brought you to ODs, easy E's, ice cubes and DOCs, the Snoop Deal double G's, and a group that said motherfuck the police, gave you a tape full of dope beats to bump when you stroll through in your hood, and when your album sales wasn't doing too good, who's the doc that he told you to go see, y'all better listen up closely, all you niggas that said that I turn pop, or the fur flop, y'all are the reason that Dre ain't been getting no sleep, so fuck y'all, all of y'all, if y'all don't like me, blow me, y'all are gonna keep fucking around with me and turn me back to the old me. Nowadays, everybody wanna talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips, just a bunch of gibberish, and motherfuckers act like they forgot about grades. Nowadays, everybody wanna talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips, just a bunch of gibberish, and motherfuckers act like they forgot about grades. So what do you say to somebody you hate? What? Or anyone trying to bring trouble your way? One of his all things in the blood of your way? Yep. Just study your tape of N.W.A. One day, I was walking by with a walking on. When I caught a guy, give me an awkward eye. Look, 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 I'm harder than me, try to park a dodge when I'm drunk as fuck Right next to a humongous truck in a two-car garage Hopping out with two broken legs, trying to walk it off Fuck you two, bitch, call the cops I'ma kill you and the loudest motherfucking barking dogs And when the cops came through, me and Dre stood next to a burnt-down house With a can full of gas and a handful of matches And still one found out From here on out, it's chronic too Starting the day, tomorrow's a new Shady, hot as in twin babies, in a Mercedes, bends with the windows up when the tick goes up to the mid 80s. Call him in, ladies. What's up, Doc? But I've been crazy. It's okay, go with him, Haley. It's okay, go with him. Yeah, we're white on this show. We're white rappers. Yeah. Act like they forgot about Dre. How you forget about Johnny Dre. Icebox? Well, we heard, we've already right. seen Johnny Icebox's old rapping skills. Remember, Ooh. he's got it. He's got the talent. Uh, DJ wow, Coco, stuff. DJ yeah. Coco dismisses yeah. himself from any, any all of involvement, that. all in involvement that. in that tape. <laughs> I got video proof. I, I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Uh, like I don't that. know what you're talking about. <laughs> I want nothing to do with that. All right, guys, back here in the sports cast again. I want to thank uh, you guys all for checking in. Call the show, 818-435-8423. Uh, going to get into a lot of stuff here in our last segment, so we'll, we'll jump into it right away. We're going to get into our over-unders from last year, see how we right. did, um, you know, and see how how, how intelligent yeah, we are on this some show. Teams, see with our prognostication. Yeah, so let's get into it, fellas. Word. Here we go. Uh, ah. See, I saved it on my iPad. Uh, Knocker's favorite iPad. I saved iPad. it on my iPad. It's called a big pen and uh, wide ruled paper. <laughs> college rule, man. College rule. Oh, yeah. oh, it's college. Wow. Rule. From Upgrade. Mr. Intelligent. Never do rap again. You're wasting my bandwidth. Oh! Laugh out loud. Thug life. Oh. <laughs> Bitch, let's go. You want a yeah. rap battle? Let's yeah, go. I, hey, hey, Mr. Intelligent, yeah. why don't you call in yeah. with your rap? Yeah. At least we got the balls to rap. Why don't you call in you some with your rap? Thugs, bitch. I'll show you what's up. Bring it home, boy. Why'd you get something other than dial-up, bitch? Oh! Yeah. Slap. <laughs> Mr. Intelligent, <laughs> you just mad because I'm white and I can You're rap, bitch. Mad. That's right. Don't make me show you my ass. <laughs> Oh uh, my god, that click you heard of Mr. Intelligent. Yeah, he's unfollowing, no not watching the show. You're welcome for the Michigan report. <laughs> that right. was awesome. Renee, throw me on some background here. God, no, that was her. awesome. I'm going to go through teams. Let's go yeah, through this me, real quick. Yeah, give me some okay? teams and I'll tell you where we were. I'm going to give you some teams and you're going to tell me where we were at as far as our uh, predictions this year. Yes. So, all right, first team. Well, up uh, here. you better have the records ready. <laughs> You do know what the records are, I hope, right? I'm going off just my I'm just so good like that. Yes, Woo! of course I have the records <laughs> in front of me. All right, let's start uh, NFC East, Knocker. Okay. Okay, Dallas Cowboys. Wow. What did we predict here, fellas? Huh? Huh? Johnny, all of us, they went off at, at seven and a half. Seven, yeah. <laughs> seven and a half. They went off at seven and a half. That was their over-under? Yeah. Johnny went off over six. Johnny went off over six. You okay. and I both went over eight. So. Okay. You know, we all won. Johnny, so good Johnny was us. a little, little, you know, 
a little shaky far, on that. A little, but we still covered? Yeah. But we all covered. We all covered. Yeah. Okay. Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles. Philly, 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 Dallas, Philly, 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 again, Philly. was at 12 and 4 by the end of the season. I got to go to page two. Oh, page two. Oh, sorry, you got to flip. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you hurry this process up? Forward. Is that one of them touch papers? <laughs> <laughs> it's a touch papers. Philly went off at nine. Nine wins. And what did we say on this what show? What was their record? Ten and six. So they the did cover. The record was ten and six. Johnny went over ten. We all went over ten. All right. All so right. So we all we all pushed. We all pushed. We all pushed on that okay, one. Okay. So like that's that. not bad. So we knew our shit so on all of this so, so far. So we're one zero oh, and one. Yes. On our covers. We're one zero okay. oh, and one so New far. New York Giants. The New York. I won so much money on this. The bet. New York Football yes. Giants. It was at eight, right? They went off at seven. Oh, seven. I called it under eight. That's what we even bet it at. No, all of us went over eight. Okay. We all. Oh, we all, we went all over lost. Eight. Right. What was that record? Six, six and ten. Yes, six and we ten. all lost, so we're one, one, and one. Not a good call. All right, Washington Redskins. Washington Redskins. The Washington Redskins went off at seven and a half. Okay. They finished oh, four yeah. and twelve. They finished four and twelve. Yep. <laughs> we know our shit. Under six for Johnny. All right. Under seven for you. Yeah. Under seven for me. So right now, keeping track, we're two, one, and one. Two, one, and one. All right. Let's go to NFC North Green Bay. Finished at twelve and four. Wait, swipe pad. You gotta swipe the pad. Swipe the there you go. Page. Okay. <laughs> Green Bay finished at twelve and four. Knocker. What did they come in at to wow. start the season? Again, we're going over under over under predictions. Okay, we just our qualifications just dropped a notch. Oh. Okay, they went they went off in Vegas at ten and a half. Oh, we took okay. the under. We all took the all under. All of us huh? took. Uh, yeah. Johnny took under ten. Josh Not took good. under ten. I took under nine. Ooh. So no, we're two, two, and one now. Okay, going to Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions. Where did the at Detroit 11 Lions and five. come out? Finished at 11 Detroit and five. Lions went off at eight and a half we games. We said over, right? Johnny went under eight. Oh. Johnny went I under like Mark eight. Oh. Josh went over nine, and I went over right. nine. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so Johnny's trailing now. So the brains of this operation right, are doing good. Right, right. Okay, okay. The actual names right. on the billboard okay, are right, ahead now. Just not your face, we'll just see, the names. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. All right. Minnesota Vikings. Uh, minus one, minus one. Okay. Minnesota Vikings. They went off at six. They finished seven and nine, Knocker. They so they went to the over. Seven and nine. All of us went under six. Oh. All of us went oh. under six with the Vikings. So Not good. We all sucked on that one. Okay, so what we're sitting at what three, three and one right now? Three, three. No, we're three, three and one. Johnny is is two, four and one. Three okay, and one. now we got Chicago here. The Bears finished eight and eleven. What do we have? Bears. What do we have coming in this season? Bears. The five, Bears. Five and eleven. Buddy. Five. What did I say? Eight eight and, oh, I'm sorry. Five and eleven. Thank you. Johnny went under eight. <laughs> wow. Wow. You and I went over 10 and oh, over Johnny nine. was right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we're even. Wow. So we're even so now. We're okay. again. Yeah, here we're we go. I like right. it. I like it. I like right. it. And that was under eight, too. So we're all three, four, and one right now. Yes. Okay. Wow. We're not. This does not uh, look good. We are credible people on this show. The VIPs do not be dismayed. Hey, VIPs went three and two yesterday. Yes, they yes. did. NFC South, Carolina Panthers. Finished at seven, eight, and one. Knocker. I don't we know. all fucked up on this <sighs> too. Johnny over nine. Josh over oh. ten. Oh. Me over nine. Oh. Ah. It. So three, five, and maybe we shouldn't do this. <laughs> really? Let's do something else. <laughs> I know we probably all lost on this. We're just in a bad fucking well, division. And we're in the <laughs> NFC South. Bad yeah, we probably all bumped. The, well, we I know we missed somebody this. would win. Well, I know we all got this wrong. The Saints, seven and nine. Oh my god. Yeah, we took this high. Uh, it went off at nine and a half. <laughs> Johnny over nine. I'm over ten. You're over ten. Oh my god. So we're god. three, six, and one. From Iris, just tuned into Sportscast, and Bud Knocker is the whitest Mexican when it comes to dancing. <laughs> like hey, bro. It. Let's go dance off. Oh, Come on, dance bro. off. All right, let's do it. Bring dance it, trucker off. boy. Hey, new studios. We can do dance Bring off. Bring it, the new trucker studio. boy. I like it. Yeah, trucker boy. Come on. All right, I know we probably missed this too. Atlanta, six and ten. What did they come at the beginning of the season? The ATL. They went six and ten? Yep. Uh, Atlanta went off at eight and five. Do we say under? Johnny under seven. Josh under eight. Me under eight. Okay, so, okay, so we're good. All right, we're back on the winning track. Uh, it's bad division. Four, six, and one. We're all tied. We're all tied right now. All right. Next up here, Knocker, Tampa Bay Bucks. Finished the season at two and fourteen. We had to have gotten this right. Wow. I don't think so because I thought they were going to be actually kind of good this season. I got this wrong, didn't I? 
No, actually, Tampa Bay went off at seven wins. Oh, okay, um, we called under. Johnny went under five. Okay. Josh went under six. Okay. And I went under six also. All right, so we're back to five, six, and one. We're climbing. We're I just working want to say it. it might might have been a lot closer than your guys', but that's okay. Oh. By one game Who's twice. Counting, You're right. right. You All are right. right. So we're five, six, and one right now, Knocker. Covering games. the last of the NFC. Uh, Seattle finished 12 and four. The Seattle Seahawks went off at 11. Ooh, what do we say? This is where we separate Ooh, the men. We got some separation. From the boys. All right, what do we give it to? This is where we spread the outer lips. What do we say? What do we say? The Seattle Seahawks. Johnny has them at under 11. Josh, <laughs> under 11. And the knocker over 11. Oh! That's right, baby, baby. Right. That's what I'm Ooh. talking about right there, baby, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. Baby, oh, baby. Us? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So now we're sitting. You're sitting at 6-6-1 six, six, and one That's right, right now. Bubba. We're sitting at 5-7-1 and one That's right, right now. That's right, baby, baby. Johnny, we got to make this up right here. That's right, don't. All right. Next up here, again, we're going over our under, under, over, under tallies that we took earlier this season. Knocker kept it on his handy uh, iPad there. Arizona finished 11-5, and five. Knocker. Do we come back to earth on this one? I think we did because Arizona, I mean, I think they finished a little better than we expected them to. Arizona went off at seven and a half. Oh, we got it over then. We took the over, right? Yeah, all of us took okay. over. Oh, okay, all we're all good. We're all good. One. Okay. So y'all got another point there. All right. Uh, San Francisco going eight and eight this season. A disappointment. What did uh, Vegas have, Matt, begin the season? San Francisco 49ers went off at ten and a half. Oh. We all had him at over 11. Oh. <laughs> uh, so we're still sub 500 here. Uh, St. Louis Rams went 6 and 10. What did Vegas have to start the season? Oh. Vegas had him at 7.5. Johnny went under 7. Okay. You went under 6. Oh, I pushed. Okay. I went over 7. I went over seven. So you're man. tied with Johnny Icebox right now, and I'm one back. That's right. All right, you and Johnny are tied right now. All right, going to the AFC, New England, 12-4. and four. Well, you're a push. Yeah, I'm a push. So, so I'm like a half like a, a point. Half. I'm a half game yeah. behind. I'm Fuck a push you, behind. I hate those pushes. <laughs> okay, New England went off at 10 and a half. Okay, how we many, better How many did say, they win? They went 12-4. and four. <laughs> <laughs> I said under. <laughs> Oh. Johnny Ice, over 11. Okay. The new sports guru, under 10. Oh, I didn't believe in my Brady. Oh. What is that for? And I don't the, know. I and, the no and the knocker went over 11, oh. baby. That's so you right, guys got baby, a game baby. and a half lead on me That's now? That's right, baby, baby. Half game and a half lead. All right. Buffalo Bills, let's go. Buffalo. Buffalo. Let's go. The Rex Ryan Buffalo Bills. What was the record? And seven. Oh my God, I had to have the under on this. Yeah, nine and seven. <laughs> what did Vegas have at the beginning of the season? Uh, I, I didn't write it down. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, John went under six. Okay. Josh went over seven. I went over seven. I went under six. Ooh. Oh, uh, okay. The guru. Okay. The guru just picked up one game. Yeah. All right, I'm a half game back. I'm a half yeah. game back. I right. could help you in the end. I know. It could help me in the end. I'm surprised you didn't take your little Buffalo Bills there like I did. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Miami. I haven't done it for the last 15 years. So why would I do it this year? <laughs> the Miami, you always think you're going to be good at the beginning of the season. Dolphins went 8-8 eight eight this season. Typical season for the Dolphins. What do we call them at the beginning? Miami went off at 7.5. It went off at seven and a half. Just covered. Johnny Ice. Yes. Under seven. Oh. Fuck. Johnny got a half game lead. The knocker and the guru over eight. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. So, so you got a half game on me and a game and a half on Johnny here. That's right. All right. That's right, Bubba Bubba. All right. Next that's right, game, baby, baby. Next game up here, the so New York Football Jets. The New York yeah. Football Jets. I'm a half game behind him. You're a full game behind him. The Jets went off at seven wins. And what was that record? Seven wins, four and twelve. <laughs> four and twelve. We, we all went over we all, eight. <laughs> we all went over eight with the Jets. Really? How horrible are we? <laughs> what suck. is that? We suck. <laughs> wow. So no one changes. Shut position. him down. Shut him down. All right. So as it stands, I'm a half game behind you. Johnny is one full game behind you. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers, the steel, the curtain. black and yellow, the steel. They curtain. finished eleven and five. What did Vegas happen? Pittsburgh went off at eight and a half. Pittsburgh went off at eight and a half. Eight what and a half say? wins. 
Johnny Ice, True Blue Rothless Boner. Yeah, over, right. 10. over 10. Over hey, 10. Oh, I, you, I thought I was going to say 16. <laughs> <laughs> over 15. You are I'm one surprised. Yeah. Loser. I'm surprised they didn't. Who is what did we Johnny get? Ice? Ice. Yeah, who, 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 that I just want to fuck Johnny, Johnny Ice. Ice. Johnny Ice. <laughs> what do you got? What do we got? Did we make this? Because he just caught up to us now. Josh, he went under eight. <sighs> No faith, no faith. Nope. I went over nine. Oh, yeah, that's right. what I'm talking about right there, baby, baby. So I'm a game and a half behind yeah. now. Now Johnny is uh, a game behind as well. All right, let's go. Next up here, the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens. Let's look at our prognostications from week zero. Finish 10-6. Baltimore, Johnny, with his hate, <laughs> his hate, which clouds his judgment. He went under eight. Johnny. Josh went over nine. Leave in my Baltimore Ridge. Joe Flacco for and president. The, and the knocker following Johnny Ice's hatred went under eight. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I'm a half game back. Johnny's two games back right now. All right, <laughs> next next up here, Cincinnati. Yeah. The Bengals. No, I'm one game. You're one game? Well, because he lost on that one, too. Oh, he did lose. Yes. Okay. All right, you did lose. So one game back. I'm a half game back. What do you got, knocker? The Bengals. I'm going to win by this tie. We all went under eight. Game. We all went under we eight. We all went under for eight. For the Bengals? No oh, faith so, in the uh, Bengals. No, all of us. No, no, no faith. Now, what about the Johnny Manziel Cleveland Football Browns? The Cleveland Browns. Finishes seven and nine. Not a bad record for the Brownies. Mm. What do we do? You and Johnny pushed. Okay, we pushed. You went, well, you, you both went over seven, so you didn't push. You lost. Oh, we lost, yeah. That's a loss. And I went over nine, so we all lost. Oh, okay, all lost. Okay, so we're still in it. I'm a game ahead. No, isn't it seven and over? No, no over seven yeah, means over, eight. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, okay, I'm a half game. Johnny's full game back. Last two divisions here. The Indianapolis Colts finished 11 and five. What did Vegas have, Matt, over under? What are our picks? Indianapolis went off at nine and a half, and we all went over 10. Oh, okay. We so all we had all big faith. Okay, okay. We're we all good. had big we're all faith. Good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Houston going nine and seven without a quarterback. J.J. Watt could be the MVP. <laughs> we had no faith. In the Houston Texans. No faith. They went off at seven and a half. Right. No, no faith in the beard. Johnny under six. You under no, seven. Right. I was under six. Nobody oh. had faith in the Texans. Seriously. Or their defense knocker drafting in this but year. But their cheerleaders are smoking. Smoke. Hey, a lot of them have been following the show lately. Smoking Shout hot. out to the HTC. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Jacksonville Jaguars, about. three and 13. We called this, right? Three and 13? Yeah. What if Vegas had at four? To start the season? Well, Johnny... Johnny, okay, we have to call it a loss because he said under three, which means they would only win two games. It's a loss for Johnny. Right? What? Yeah. No. You said under three. That means they don't win three games. But they did win three games. It's That's not a, a push. push. That's a push. Yeah, it's okay. a push. That's, right. that, That's a and push. That go, yeah, that goes the same as Cleveland. Back Seven to the last. Okay, I'll That's give you the push. push. Okay, Seven Josh and I. For Cleveland. Yeah, it's That's a, a half. A half oh, a game. That's a half a game. All right. Okay, so it's a half game. Cleveland then? So what did you have for Cleveland? We all. I went. I went over nine. You guys both went over seven, so, so I lost, lost a half a game. Yes. Yeah. So okay. we're up a half a point. Yeah, we're up a half a point with Cleveland. Yeah. Okay. So you're tied. I'm tied, and you're half, and a, half, game half a game back. Yeah, all right. So Josh, now what are we at Get now? with the rules. Ben Roethlisberger's better than Flacco. Josh and I went both under four, so we're winners. Okay, we're winners. No push. Chicken dinners, no full push. Game. No half a game. Okay, so I am now up a full uh, I'm up a half a point on you. Okay, no. whatever you say. No, I don't think so. No. I think we're tied. No, you're we're tied. tied. We're tied. No. And you're down a half. I think Johnny's half, down a half, and we're okay. tied. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got Tennessee Titans. We blew this right because they went 12, the two Tennessee and fourteen. The Tennessee Titans. Two and fourteen. The Tennessee Titans went off at seven wins. We called under, right? Oh shit! What the fuck was I think? I was thinking about the cheerleaders, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Johnny went under seven. You went under seven. Okay. I went over eight. We're t Boy, what, what are you doing? What was I smoking? Seriously. Holy shit. You're just looking at all those cheerleaders. Yeah, that's plus one. Yeah. But because I pushed, I get that half a point. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yep. Okay, so then we're technically tied. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, last we're division. Last no, division. For, no, except for on the Titans. Oh, yeah, Titans. Yep. I, no, we, that well, changes now. It changes because we won. Yeah. You lost. See, I'm like down a half back. a game, I think. Now you're down a game. Yeah. All now right. Last, di game. last division here, Knocker. Let's see how we do. AFC West, Denver, 12 and 4. The Denver Broncos. Las Vegas had them at 11 and a half. Johnny went under 9. Josh went under, <laughs> under 10. <laughs> and I went under 10. Really? We're all losers. 
Really? We went under yeah. 10 with the Broncos? Yeah. I don't know if you had your headphones on. Yeah, I don't, were they broken at that <laughs> I point? Hey, man, know. it's all written down, all bro. Right, all, right. all right, Kansas City Chiefs finish the at 9-7. The Kansas and City seven. Chiefs. Mr. Awesome's Kansas City Chiefs. Finish at 9-7. and seven. What did Vegas have, Matt? Vegas had him at 8.5. And, okay. and they went, what, 9-7? and seven? Yes. We Johnny loses. He went over 10. <laughs> Josh loses. He went under 8. I pushed it over 9. Okay. All right. Okay. So, now you're so everybody's tied now. Yeah. I was a half game back. Yes. yes. Everybody's tied. Everybody's two tied teams left. With two no, teams I left. I lost on that. Right. Oh, Josh lost yeah. on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's two tied. Teams with left. two All teams tied left. You the baby. San Diego Superchargers. The San Diego Superchargers. In the sports cast, over under picks the for 2014. Picks. How good were we? They went off at eight and a half. They finished at nine and seven. We all lost. Oh. <laughs> Johnny went under eight. You went under seven. I went under eight. No. <laughs> uh, so we're leaving it down to the, the Raiders. Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Only the Raiders will decide this. The Raiders. So stupid. This is so, so the stupid. The Raiders. We all took the under. Come on. Yeah, did we? What was the over under? Four? <laughs> Four and a half was from Vegas. We take the under, right? What was their record? Four and twelve. We all lost. It's no, three, no, it's three and thirteen. It's three and thirteen. We all picked over five. No way. No way. <laughs> Why would we ever do that? Why did we do that? What were we smoking at the beginning oh, of this was year? That awesome. <laughs> Through all that, we all tied. We all tied. Through all that, that was an, that was twenty minutes. I'll never get yeah. back. And we were sub five hundred. <laughs> I could tell you that just by knowing all the you buzzes think? we played. Yeah. Oh, That's my awesome. God. That was fantastic. <laughs> so there you go for our prognostications. <laughs> yes. For all you those that cared how we did. <laughs> for those of you still listening. <laughs> you wasted 15 minutes of your life right there. I'm telling you. <laughs> a lot of you did. will never get it back. will never get back. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, that Knocker. Well, let's get into the games that actually matter here. Coming up, we've got a big weekend of football. Let's make our picks here. Here we go. AFC. We're talking about the Senior Bowl now, right? Yeah, the Senior Bowl. <laughs> AFC, NFC Championship games this weekend. So it all comes down to four teams left, four great quarterbacks going for the rings. No a doubt. A couple of them. No Already doubt. got a couple. One going for historic in Brady. Going for number four. All a team four, going for back-to-back. -back. All four teams are pretty healthy, which I like. one guy going for his first, and Andrew Luck here. Yeah. yeah. I like how when we were talking to Knocker in Palm Springs, he was grunting in the parking lot. He's all, <laughs> over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> The, the awesome, game man loved him. In the Palm game man, oh, they, they just did. went, wow. Red they, lights went on all like, over. Ooh, there's a bear. The red porch lights were flipping on as I was, <laughs> as I was grunting. Oh, my <laughs> God. All right, guys. Well, let's get into it. Our picks this weekend coming up. Um, let me have some background here while we get into it. All right, Knocker. Um, first up in the AFC, mm -hmm. Seattle Seahawks, the 12th man. I mean, I'm sorry, not Seattle Seahawks. I'm Brady going up. my. Ooh. What am I smoking? Smoke uh, weed every day. We go with the AFC again AFC, with the Colts. We got the Colts traveling, traveling to the Brady to and Belichick Patriots. Mm -hmm. Seven point spread in Vegas on this one. Uh, Andrew Luck, that defense is showing up in the playoffs. I don't know where it came from because they weren't very good during the regular season. But Andrew Luck, impressive in Denver. Um, going in, into Brady and Belichick. Now we know how Andrew Luck, his recent past against the Patriots has been pretty bad. Belichick yes. has owned Luck in the past. Yes. Brady at home, probably going to be cold once again. Probably not as much as last last game, but going to be cold. What are your thoughts on this game? Give me a prediction and a score. And do they cover the spread? Give me all three notions here. Not I, I'm, I'm very impressed with, with what uh, what's going on. No, the, he's got no running game. He's got a bum, and Trent Richardson doesn't even get on the field. I, can you believe that? A healthy scratch. They spent scratch. so much for him. A healthy freaking scratch. A Heisman this Trophy winner. This guy's got a white winner. guy doing hair running the ball. I mean, uh, come on. I... I I just, you know, God, you just got to wonder what the hell happened. What, you know, what's what's going but on? A couple with that. drops by Ty Reggie Wayne, a little bit of aging. Yeah, um, you know, but he still got his tight end from Stanford. Still I'm very impressed. With, I'm very impressed with what with, with what they did. I mean, going into Denver and and you know, but they beat a half a half beaten down um, Peyton Manning. So I'm not. See, I'm that's not what, that's drinking what all me. their like, Kool Aid. I can't and they, really buy into it. They beat a still. Cincinnati team that just flames out in the playoffs. Yep. It's, you know, proven thing. Um, I, I think they're gonna they're, they're gonna give a good showing, but um, I I think New England, uh, with their quarterback playing at home with the hoodie, don't you love the hoodies little trick play last week? That was awesome. Oh, so fantastic! That, that was just impressive uh, uh, to pull it out in that game. And for Brady down by fourteen, 
in both times, 28 to 14. And uh, just coming back yeah. in that game, Gronk was huge. I think what the Colts have to do is they've got to, they've got to put some physical pressure on Gronkowski. They've got to punish mm -hmm. this guy, make him be afraid to go after and get the ball. And last time we saw... The, I don't the, think the, that's possible, to be honest. The Patriots recipe was, what was it, Jonas Gray or whatever his name is, ran for 200-something yards and four touchdowns in that game. They beat mm -hmm. the Colts earlier this year. Yeah. He hasn't even played since for a, exactly. a couple snaps. Exactly. They got Laguerre Blunt. Give me a score here, and do they cover the seven-point spread? Absolutely. They, they cover the spread. I'm going to go I – mean, I'm going to assume it's, it's cold but clear. I'm going to go 31 17. 31 I'm, I'm 17. Go 31, Andrew Luck 17, only puts up 17 points in New yeah, England. Yeah, huh? I, th I think so. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get a lot of touches. I don't think he's going to get a whole lot of possessions. Um, I'm looking for New England to roll. Okay. Johnny Icebox, man. Yeah, I got to go New England on this, too. Um, kind of agree on the score there, too. Uh, I, I think it's kind of a be keep it crowd. close and opens it up later in the game. Yeah. I, you know, I look forward to these games, I think, more than I do the Super Bowl. Absolutely. Some, these in, are in more. More tight, fought, contested games. Yeah, and I think there's a maybe a, a little bit more of a fierce rivalry between exactly. some of these. Uh, a lo AFC lot more teams. familiar familiarity, rivalry type stuff. So it's definitely going to be a good game. I think the edge is is that it's in Foxborough. Mm -hmm. All right, absolutely. I, I kind of agree with you. Coming on Twitter here, Knocker, uh, Doctor Bob. Sorry, I fell asleep. Did I miss anything <laughs> in the last twenty minutes? Such an ass. You know what? Fuck you, Doctor <laughs> Bob. I have had enough of your shit <laughs> now. Seriously. Hey, and then, but then you get the opposite side of the spectrum. That was amazing. I say you guys arm wrestle to determine the winner. And she said arm, <laughs> arm wrestling has, that great? Arm wrestling has everything to do with our wild world of sports coming up. That's fantastic, English Linder. <laughs> and then uh, content Bob. Now he's now it's content Bob. And then what? Actually, to be like crazy Bob, he changes what Bob it is. Well, that was exciting, or was it? <laughs> I told you, people either you loved or hated that last segment. It was really boring, and you wasted 15 minutes of your life, but you really liked it. You know what? I fucking wanted to do it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bob. And they got EJ Ojo. <laughs> I think he has his shit together as a rocker, knocker. Hashtag rock on. That's right. That's right. Thank you, man. Thank you. I do have my shit together. I'm kind of with That's you. Right. The, I'm kind of with you on the score here. I think Brady. I think it's going to keep it close, just because Andrew Luck's going to give it everything he's got, and that's what I love about him. I think he's going to keep it close in the, in the first half. Uh, but I think Brady and company, especially going and making halftime adjustments, as mm -hmm. Belichick can do, uh, I think uh, it gets kind of opened up in the second half. I like Patriots, 31 to 20 um, okay. in this game. I do think they cover the spread. We're all about uh, the same I, place. I, we're all about the same place. I think Brady gets back to the Super Bowl now. Moving back into the NFC uh, this time, Seattle Seahawks at home at in this home. one. Aaron Rodgers coming in on a bum leg. Um, huge performance against the Cowboys. Seattle looks like they're peaking again at that right time. Absolutely, from about um, week seven or eight. And that defense, as we called earlier, and Scooby, they're going to probably put some pressure on Aaron Rodgers, unlike what Dallas did only in their th Russian three. What do you got in this one? They've got a spread of seven in this one as well. What do you got, Knocker? I, I think they cover. I really do. I think they're defense. See, I do too, but it's, hurt. It, I, it's hard. It's hard it's to Aaron do that. Rogers. That's a lot of points, and Aaron it is Rogers. Aaron Rodgers. But it's not. It's not Aaron Rodgers. Because Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> yeah. it's not he him. Can't you know what move. I'm saying? It's not him. It's half of Aaron Rodgers. It's Roger. half of Aaron Rodgers. I, I agree. And, and he was good enough to win at home. I, I truly believe they should have lost that game. Dallas, I think Dallas won that game. I really do. I don't see how he goes in after after destroying his calf again in cold weather in that game. You can rehab all you want. Um, Seattle's young. Seattle's fast. Their defense is it, it's they're just gonna swallow them up, man. Something's gonna happen, just like the Carolina game. Just like I said, man, the field position, field position. That defense yeah. gonna swallow you up. You're gonna make a mistake, and once they get ahead, they're the best front running team in the yeah, NFL. They are. Best once they get the ahead, and dude, Cam Chancellor. And Sherman, <laughs> him and, jumping and, over blocking field goals was and amazing. Earl Thomas the third, they lay They're the some lumber. Some of the finest guys to watch they in the NFL. They lay the lumber. They come up unafraid, yep. and they beat you. Um, I think it's going to be a close game for about two and a half quarters, um, and then I think something. I I'm going to say going to make a mistake, and and, and Seattle's going to run, run away with it in the. In the I'm kind of with third, you. I, I'm, I'm going to take a healthy Russell Wilson. A 12th man and one of the best defenses in the league over a 
half of a Aaron Rodgers and a Jordy Nelson. And I think I think what you have, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, yeah. it's just more. It's just they're, they're more. They're healthier. They're kind of like Ohio, Ohio State in a way. Oregon was out their two best receivers and their best quarterback. Yeah, they, and, and you Oregon, know, Ohio State was just a better team. It's, well, it's just Oregon has a lot a better of injuries team right now. Game. As a team, they're better. The, and, and they've got the attitude back. Yeah, they've got the swagger back. Give me score though. And they, they put, and they have the best adjustment coach in the NFL. Belichick is right, right with him. But Pete Carroll made his name at USC adjusting at halftime. They were the best second half team, in my opinion, in the history of the NCAA. Yep. And Seattle is is the same. What do you guys if score you don't here? Get, if you don't get up on them by by two touchdowns at halftime, yeah. you're not going to win because they will adjust and they will shut you down. I've got to score 24 to 14. 24-14. Wow, Rogers puts up 14 points in this game. Yeah, okay. I, I, don't, I don't see much more than that. I just don't. Johnny, what do you got in this one, buddy? I got the Seahawks in this one. Give me I, a score. Uh, uh, let's go 27-21. 27-21. Like I'm going to go Seahawks in this one. Uh, I'm going to go 28. Uh, no, actually, no, I'm going to go 27 because I think they get a field goal in there. I think Rogers is held down. I think they get about 20 points. So I think I, I think you it's right that line. 27, 20, 27, yeah, 21. it's just don't worth betting. It's just too close for me because I think Aaron Rodgers, the guy doesn't give up, man, and, and they just don't get blown out. I just don't think there's very many games get blown out in the NFL. No. Uh, so I'm gonna take uh, if I have to take one, I'm gonna take the seven, seven and a half with Green Bay. I think they either cover or push. On the flip side, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, Patriots to cover that seven spread against the Colts. Okay. So I like Seattle to cover the spread. So I got us. But we're all we're all in kind of agreements here. New England Seattle Super Bowl. Yes. It's gonna be a good one. So, all right, guys, it's been our picks here again for our NFC uh, AFC Championship game. All right, guys, uh, to finish off the last uh, few minutes here of the show, again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in once again here at Icebox Studios. Uh, everyone that's wondering, Ch Ch Chabbies, I love you, Chabs. Chabs chimed in. He's like, earlier today, he's like, you guys have a show today? Because John's like, <laughs> dude, they made the announcement they're not going yeah. like, on a hiatus we're, we're, we're going to go on hiatus yeah. a week before this. Talk. No Super Bowl, <laughs> nothing else. The week of the end of the <laughs> championship games. Yeah. No, Chaps, we're only taking like a month off yeah. at, like at the end, after Super Bowl to just to make sure the studio gets in order. We'll be back about, you know, mid-March, somewhere around there. Well, so. We decided it was a good yeah. time for a vacation. Take a vacation. <laughs> and the, we'll have, week of the don't championship worry, we're going to have games. Knockers yeah. movie reviews. We're going to have Johnny's relationship advice. We're going to have Renee's <laughs> <laughs> How to get a job in 12 hours. In 12 you know? hours. <laughs> We're going to have a bunch of new, <laughs> bunch of new segments, new segments. <laughs> coming up on the show. All right, guys. Oh uh, well, before we get to our new segment, I want to get to Renee's segment on this show, yeah. which is uh, baseball in a uh, Mexican minute. Let me bring it in for you here. Here we go. Um, let's go. Oh, I've got my music up. Sorry. <laughs> wow. I was Sorry, was, producer. I was like, wait a minute. That Sorry. was awkward. Sorry, producer. Right? All right, here we go. That was like, so don't put the condom on first. This is probably actually going to be a minute. There's not too much going on right now in the baseball world. But yeah. uh, Yunel Escobar and uh, Ben Zobrist from the Tampa Bay Rays were traded to the Oakland Athletics. And then the, oh, A's, okay. and then the A's flipped Yunel Escobar to the Nationals for Tyler Clippard, who is a pitcher. So yeah. he was with the A's for like one day. Making some moves. Yep. I like Zobrist. So Zobrist coffee. is a good player. Yeah, he's a good player. Hey, so uh, what's up with this uh, Evan Gaddis trade, man? Yeah, man. Oh, oh, oh. The Evan Gaddis went to the Houston Astros. Uh, Braves are unloading some players. They got yeah, rid of Justin yeah. Upton. He got went rid to of, the uh, Astros? God. He, to the Astros. Sorry, Evan Can you Gattis. imagine, man? We, uh, you've been traded to the Astros. Yeah. Be like, oh, you went to the Braves who almost make the postseason every right. single season. Too. You're going to go to one of the worst <laughs> organizations in baseball. Well, why, why do you give him up, though? What do you, what do you think, Renee? Why, why you know what? The, what's the deal? He's, like, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, got, he's a, got a big bat and he's a catcher, right? Yeah, yeah. He's a catcher. I think he even can play some uh, outfield, I believe. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, you know what? I think the Braves, yeah, the Braves are just doing unloading. Right they, they didn't do too bad last year, but... Yeah. You know, I I don't know what the situation is. I'm not a Braves fan, so and I haven't been Nationals look good coming to win that division again. Yeah, I, I thought they were going to go the farther in the playoffs. Still kind of in limbo. Yep. You know, I, I I'm so yeah, out of the, the loop. When when did Marquez sign with the Braves? Oh. This year. Yeah, well, yeah obviously in the this year. In the winter, I, I'm sorry, in winter, the winter meetings yeah. during the winter meetings. So they have one of the Uptons and they have Marquez in the outfield. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who else? Because they, they got rid of Hayward. Right? Hayward's now yeah, in Hayward's St. Louis. Gone. Yeah, that's yeah, right. So, so I'm not sure what's going on. We're going to see what happens. Yeah. So well, we're going to talk a lot more baseball coming up. A little in bit. Year. Yeah, yeah. Dodgers uh, agreed to terms with AJ Ellis for one year, so it's yeah. going to be him. I like that. I like him, and fans were, th were happy about it. Yeah, yeah, I like man. that. He's a good guy. Good clubhouse guy. Decent defensive catcher. Yeah. Yeah. Decent hitter. I, I think he's just good. He knows the pitchers. He knows, you know, and that's big when yep. you know your pitching right. staff. 
calling a game. That's huge. So and anything anything else? Yeah, and the and the Pirates got this guy named Jung Ho Kang. Jung Ho Kang. Oh, no way, I heard he of that came guy. From, he's uh, he's really good, deal. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit, like, we watch him all the time, the right? League. League. Yeah, yeah, I know all about him. Yeah, he had him in my fan <laughs> I had him in my Chinese fantasy league last year. <laughs> Chinese <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> God, I almost won last year. Too. Exactly. God damn it. God damn for that whole guy. Anyways, when he comes up, you know how like all players, you know like Latin players have music. It's like usually Mexican music or something like yeah, 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 yeah. Music. Walking, yeah. yeah. His should be this. <laughs> <laughs> when it, every time it comes up to bat, like why don't Asian players have that, man? Or they at least, should. Right? Oh. Would that be racist? <laughs> No, you know, African American players have rap and yeah, hip hop. They, they can right. have some African music. Yeah. yeah, Dominican and Mexican <laughs> yeah. players. They have Spanish players. They have like yeah, white you know, have the kid music, rock Mexican and shit, music right? and shit. Right. Best still inside. Time Here comes best Jung come Ho out now. King. <laughs> Every time he comes up to bat, <laughs> he just bows before he, he comes bows up. Before he comes up. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right. Well, that kind of leads me into our new segment. I like it. I like uh, this. Year we're going to finish off kind of our, our our shows coming up. I like to have a little bit. Uh, people want to know more about us, kind of what we fit on certain subjects, whether it's random relationships, crazy questions. Bring it, man. So I haven't had a topic for this show yet, but and I got some questions. We have not discussed these two questions no, before. they have not been discussed at all. So these are brand new, so I kind of like the off topic. So I'm going to bring a little bit of... You ready? Here we go. We're going to party hard. Some questions. Finish it off. All right, Knocker. Now, as you know, we're all good friends on this show. Cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I've got baking soda. Got baking soda. <laughs> Knocker, right, got a couple man. questions the out question? there. All right, first one up here. Out of the four of us, if we were on a desert island, mm -hmm. okay, we're stranded, who would survive the longest and why? Tell the truth. I would survive Tell the, the truth no. now. No, no because you're the why? oldest. You're the oldest. You're you would first die to go. off first. I know how to fish. I know Your how to forage. Your prostate would go out yeah, five years and you'd be done. I know how to fish. fish. I know how to forage. I know how to gather. Okay, I, I think me. Personally, because I'm a man of truth and integrity, I'm going to say Johnny. Because, Absolutely 100% Because he's the most correct. technically savage out of all of us. There's no technology. Okay. No. You're fucking stranded. No. He, he's like Listen, a MacGyver. He's like when a MacGyver. Yeah, when your fucking headphones just broke, <laughs> I was the first one to jump on top of it. I understand I that, but that survival. doesn't feed you. I got survival you. That skills. doesn't feed you. I know who would last the least. Okay. What do you mean? Who? You? Why? Yes. Renee would totally last the least. Why would I last the least? Because you'd be, you'd be just be... Staring at waves or talking to animals. <laughs> Mexican die of hunger. You said a deserted island, right? Yes, exactly. yes. Yeah, you could deal with Mexicans a lot. like fish too, man. <laughs> Who do you think would last the longest? Yeah, Renee, who's gonna last the longest? Out of all of you guys? Yeah. All out of, of all of us. Either you included. Johnny, because he can make like a fucking boat out of like yeah, coconut. There you go. Right? <laughs> Don't get I mad. I didn't get the nickname MacGyver for no reason. <laughs> yeah, you'd be first, knocker. He, I have a fucking he would be like the professor on no. fucking <laughs> Gilligan's <laughs> Island. One hundred. And you, you're going with you, obviously. Oh, absolutely. So what are you going with, Josh? I'm going with Johnny. I'm the one that said Johnny's number one. Okay, you would you would be out first. So who would be out first? You. No, well, I, Renee would totally Joshua, be out first. You Knocker, won't you would be out first. You won't bait your own fucking hook. <laughs> That's true. Okay? Knocker would be true. out first because I he's so leave. old. I'm so fat, you guys would eat me, so I'd be out <laughs> second. All right. Josh, I could leave you on that island with a Coleman stove propane and a whole cooler full of food and you'd fucking starve <laughs> because you wouldn't cook for yourself on the beach. <laughs> Proven on many a boys trip. All right. All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Glad this segment is working real well for me. Woo! All right, next question what here. Out of the four of us, another question of just to the four of us. Okay, I'm down. Who would make the best president? Wait, what? Who would like make the are... best president? Out of the oh, four of us. President. Yeah, the present. I was like, what? I'm a present? <laughs> no, who would make the best president out of the four of us? President. God. I think, personally, I'm going to go with Knocker. I think you have the most level head out of all of us. I think you're kind of reasonable. I'd kind of sway a little. I, I couldn't deal with the stress. I think you'd be a good president. I, I think I could do that. Okay, I really do. I, I think I'm kind of biased against the super rich, which would be an issue. Um, but I, I I do think I could work with people and and, and Johnny and, would and, totally right, not. Come on, that. you're not fucking campaigning right yeah, now. Yeah, I'd vote Bud too. <laughs> I'd, vote, but I'd be the first stoned president, so <laughs> I vote for Butt Knocker as well. All right, all right. There next we up here. Next up here. As we saw at the Golden Globes, you have the video here, Renee. If you could show it up, uh, Kate, uh, Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. As we know, Kate Hudson, 
Hottie yeah, as well. Jennifer yeah. Aniston gave a little tug tug to the back of uh, like Kate Hudson's booty, that. as you can watch right now. Now, my question is to you fellas. If you're going to grab one of those booties, who are you grabbing? I'm going for Kate Aniston. Hudson or Aniston. Which one? I'm going for Aniston. Why is that? Because the way she portrays herself as a slut in Horrible Bosses. Oh, I think she is so hot. I think she's just smoking. Yeah, hot. but Hudson and the, Hudson and Almost Famous is like that drunk, druggy yeah, chick. Yeah, yeah. Like, you yeah, can but, do whatever you okay, want. Okay, I want some boobs for one. I want some boobs. Okay. The, and she loses Bobby. the boob angle. Aniston's and, got the. And Aniston in the, the little strip cheese thing she did in We Are the Millers. Yeah. Hot, I know. Come on. So you're going to Aniston. If you're going to grab an ass, Kate Hudson or, or Jennifer Aniston, you're going Aniston. Nah, I'm going Aniston. Renee. I'd have to say uh, Hudson. Kate Hudson. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm going to grab <laughs> Johnny, what are you going to grab? I, 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 I got to go Aniston. Yeah, I, I think I think when I saw her on Friends and when I was in sixth yeah, grade, I've got I was this, like, yeah, I've got this infatuation with her too. There's something about her, man. But Kate Hudson would be fun to yeah, party with, man. Yeah. Oh She'd yeah, be fun now, to party with, man. Now I would rather party with Kate but Hudson. As far as an ass there grab, give me but some Aniston. But if I'm grabbing yeah. ass, pulling it close, yeah, give me some Aniston. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, I want All some right. motorboating. All right, next up here, Doctor. Um, <laughs> now you know we we're, we're all married or in relationships, man. But yes. let's say we're single, okay, and you had to go on a first date. Where are you taking your first date? How much money do I have? You got, you got unlimited spending. What, like, what's your date? Unlimited yeah. spending? Yeah, what, what can you do? Like, be in reason here. Like, what are you doing to impress your date on the first date? I'd go to Islands and then I'd order some Juicy Whip. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good call, Renee. Good call. <laughs> I'm going to Roscoe's Chicken. And then I'd go to Dyson Motors. Oh, and then we'd order some Fireman's Brew. No, nah, man. You know what? I think I think if I'm if I'm limited to this state. Yeah. Okay. I, I think. Like, I'm come a, on. Be real. Like, what's a good? How are you gonna impress on a first date? I think date? I'm going to Newport Beach. Okay. And go on a cruise. Nice. Oh, dinner. Yeah. Go on a dinner cruise. Little sunset. You know, cruise. sunset cruise. Okay. Then come back. In, in uh, uh, you get a you hotel, know, whatever the highest price hotel is there. You don't want to because you don't want to know where you live. It's first date, right? So you got to go all, somewhere neutral. I'm going the dinner cruise, Newport Harbor, watch the sunset. Then I'm coming back to the nicest hotel in that area. Okay. And, and we're gonna have cocktails at the top, and and then we're gonna fuck our brains out. Wow, Johnny Icebox, where are you going? Uh, I don't do first dates, so. <laughs> <laughs> Or my bedroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Renee, Renee, are you going to the local uh, Home Depot or Taqueria? Where are you going? No, man. I'm going to Islands. All right. And I'm That's ordering some Fireman's right. Brew. Yeah, I made a little bed, Bath & Beyond. <laughs> right. A little bed, Bath & Beyond if we have some bed, time. Bath & Beyond just in yeah, case. Yeah, I take her to the Beyond section, though. <laughs> All right. All right. I, uh, wow. I think it's I think it's father like son because me I'm like a cat I'll, I'll go to do the Catalina thing maybe take Catalina get a little drunk in a hotel room on Catalina do something like that maybe a San Diego drive somewhere where I could take her get her drunk have a hotel do her for a couple days and then not to talk to her anymore dude you know what I'm gonna take that back I'm I'm gonna change this I'm gonna change this okay. I'm going to go cruise what? Why would I have the feeling that Johnny Xbox's first date would involve exchange of money? <laughs> <laughs> Took Dr. Rob. Butt knocker oh, in 2016. Listen, like Dr. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> that was great. Con Johnny's first date is a hooker. Content Bob. I was wrong. This is way more exciting. <laughs> I'm changing that. I'm okay. changing that. Okay. I'm going to San Francisco. Okay. Why, because there's men there? <laughs> oh my God, who gives a fuck? Next question, you I'm gave going your answer. I'm going to San Francisco, answer. I'm going on the bay, and I'm going, I'm going to the top of the mark. Okay. If you've ever been to the top of the mark, you you're fucking understand. married, you okay. ain't doing shit now. All right, my next question, add the four of us. Go try right. to get your balls licked tonight, it's not happening. As a, as a wow, four of us. he's talking about your mom. I didn't hear it. All right, <laughs> out, of the four of us, out of the four of us, who would be the best Not trained? saying it hasn't happened. Because it has to do with the story we're going to talk about today. We'll talk about next week. <laughs> but who would be the best trained assassin out of the four of us? Renee. Yeah, yeah, I think so, I've, too. I've shot like, guns I, a couple times. I'm surprised, times. too, because he's MacGyver. Like, Johnny's MacGyver, but he, he's too crit Like, Renee's like that sneaky stoner I'm guy quiet. that could, like, yeah. I think Johnny yeah, would. you would just never know if he's going to hit up on you. And the reason I say this. <laughs> yeah. I never expected. I, th I think Johnny would just, just <laughs> beavis would, uh, and butthead yeah. out when it came to the crucial time. <laughs> Johnny was <Bliss> is out. <laughs> <laughs> no, he beavis and butthead out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Renee. 
Rene uh, I'm just, is the deer whisperer. I'm the deer whisperer. I'll sneak up he on He can you. sneak up on yeah, shit, dude. and he proved it. Yeah. All right, he can get he can get up on the ass of a deer. If you can get up on the ass of a deer, <laughs> you can kill anybody. All right, we give it to Renee. All right. Now, last last one here, guys. Finish off the I show. Be sneaky. I be sneaky. Last one here, get my guys. Blood, I'm Mexican home, so I'm sneaky. Now, a- <laughs> How do you think I got across the border? That's yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's In the ass point. of a deer. Yeah. The ass- <laughs> Oh, uh, last question, guys. <laughs> Finish off the show in our new segment. I don't know what it's called, but we'll come up with something. <laughs> what pro athlete would you love to punch in the face the most? Eli Manning. Eli Manning? Eli Manning. Just with that face. Like, that after an pouty face like, drives me absolutely nuts. Just right want to punch face. him. Dude, you're rich. You've got two rings, and you are you got that little pouty-ass schoolboy face when things yeah. go wrong. Him. All right, go to Eli. What did you got, Renee? I got Barry Bonds. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a giant something. <laughs> Anyone that's in giant uniform, we're in San Francisco. He's a douchebag. I hate him. <laughs> Johnny Icebox, if you say anyone, Joe Flacco, because I fucking hate him. <laughs> I was, you know, I was debating. I was really debating between that or if we were gonna say like, uh, like. Tom Coughlin, I really like. Oh, him in but his he would face. die. You kill him. Yeah, he's an old guy, man. He's an old man. What do you got against Tom? No, I got, I gotta go, Joe Flacco. You punch him in the face, right? Oh God, yes. Mind, I'm surprised. Or, or, wait, wait, I wasn't fucking okay. done. Okay. Or uh, maybe like Tom Brady. I would. Why? Punch, but You're then we, jealous. But the thing is, is, like, I'd punch him in the face, and then we'd look at each other, and then we'd become like best friends. <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> it's like, hey, you wanna come meet Giselle? You wanna meet Giselle? <laughs> As I punch I didn't him, mean my, it. I didn't mean it, man. My lip would quiver and a tear would come down, and he'd look at me and he'd just give me a big hug, and I'd be like, oh, Tom. That'd be like Johnny after the, after the, the, the Karate okay. Kid finals. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. You're okay. <laughs> You're okay, Daniel. You're okay, man. <laughs> That's a perfect reference of him punching Tom. <laughs> That's good, Knock. You got to the good on there. Yep. All right, my yep. last one, even though it's probably, everyone's going to hate me yep. for this. I I can't st- I used to love my I can't stand anymore. I want to punch Steve Smith in the face. I'm done with the Steve Smith wow. little guy syndrome. Like, I'm done with the little guy syndrome. Really? Yeah, it's I like. Get that. Okay, all right. I, I get I really it. I do. Also, I want to punch Dwight Howard in the face as well. Just like, like everybody like, else. Like everybody else. So. Dr. Rob chimes in with Aaron Rodgers. He wants to punch Aaron Rodgers. And Iris face. comes in with, mm, Eli looks like a Down syndrome child. I think that's a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give him a ding Jay on Cutler that. Jay Cutler might be up there, too. Oh, Jay Cutler yeah, might be up there. Yeah, that's a good call too. right there. Do you want to punch Richard Sherman? No, no I love Richard no, Sherman. Sherman. No, you like Shermanator? Hell no. no. You don't have a punchable face. A Rod. I'd like to punch A Rod in the face. Uh, there's one. Uh, a Rod, no? Uh, Not A Rod? Yeah. Because I hate the Yankees, too. <laughs> wow, Johnny Icebox and his man love coming out. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Content well, that's been, uh, our new segment. I don't know what it's called. We'll call it the I don't know what's called segment. We'll uh, <laughs> come out with it at some time or another. And if you got a name, you guys can tweet us. So, All right, we're going to finish name off the show. Name that segment. Yeah, I realize. Good segment. I like that. People can find out some stuff about That was us. fun. It was fun, right? Finish off the show. With Absolutely. That, we'll do that. that so. was fun. All right, guys, for all of our sponsors, I want to thank you guys. We'll be back uh, again next week. Chabby's, stop smoking so much weed. We won't be, we'll still be back for a couple more After weeks. After the Super Bowl, <laughs> Chabs. Come on now. All right, Can't guys. wait for your tweet next Wednesday. <laughs> you guys are on this week. <laughs> all right, guys, for Renee and the ones and twos, Bud Knocker, at Bud Knocker, at Beans one at Johnny Icebox. You can follow me at, at Real Josh Pacheco on the show, of course. At Sportscast underscore THA from a guy for the dog stretching his legs. Yeah, he's stretching. Uh, out. Okay, we'll be back next week. Check us out on iTunes. Thank you, Firemansbrew.com, official beer sponsor of the show. And all you fans Jeez, and listeners whip. that are e- here every week and the tweets, you guys are just, it's fun. I love it. It's, it's just awesome. Fun. Can't wait to do more of these. We'll be back next week. We love you all. Be good humans.